Yes. <laughs> Hi, we're live with the first ever episode of Neath the Saturnine Moon. Um, how's it going? Very excited for this. We've been oh, been waiting to do this for a while. Uh, I'm Jess. This is my channel. Thanks so much for being here. And today I'm uh, Slanya No More. I'm pretty sure I'm saying that right. I might learn to have to. I'd have to learn how to correct that at some point, but. Um, I'm looking forward to that too. And uh, next in line is Mole. Hi, Mole. Mole Thule, at Mole Thule, et cetera, et cetera. I've really been looking forward to this. You have no idea how much I've been going on and on about getting to play. Um, and it's going to be hugely exciting and stuff. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Mari, <laughs> next. Hi, I'm Mara at Yarn Quest, and I'm playing Odd Shale the Younger. Very Oriad healer. It's very exciting. They have a very nice smile. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Adelaide? Uh, hi, I'm Adelaide at O Adelaide on Twitter. Um, I am playing John Quo, the Dryad um, Librarian, Guardian of the Flotsam Library. Super, hy super hyped. I've been waiting all day for this. <laughs> <clears throat> I want to go to a Flotsam library. Um, <laughs> Come Nick. over anytime. We got lots of books. I'm on, I'm on my way. <laughs> you want some books? We got them. <laughs> and Nicholas. Yay. Hello. Uh, yeah, we will see how this goes. Uh, hopefully it will not be... Uh, well, uh, it will be a shambles, but it will not be a terrible one. <clears throat> it's the first episode. It's all downhill from here. <laughs> well, you say that. <laughs> that's, that's Sometimes downhill leads you up. That's true. <laughs> that's that's very philosophical. <laughs> yeah, uh, and I really doubt uh, some of you will not be uh, quite as much uh, chaos monkeys as some people have been playing. <laughs> not be chaos monkeys. What? I have played with people who actually redefined that term, so... Uh, uh, but yeah. I feel like saying challenge accepted, but... Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> That's a challenge it's on! That's... But if we are here, and I will GM this, and make sure... Uh, We will have fun. And perhaps be a little spooked. Wait, <clears> spooks? <throat> I don't remember agreeing to that. Are you, are you ready? Yeah. Because then I can <laughs> start. Uh, it's an afternoon. Uh, and uh, seemingly from nowhere, thunder strikes and rain pours out. Uh, and most of the things go from sun, sunny afternoon into pretty dark. And uh, we see a small raven perched on uh, Dragon Spire Hall. And it leaps out, swirls down uh, over the rooftops of uh, the old district. Tall, gothic uh, buildings. Uh, it lands, uh, wiggles about a little bit to get rid of some of the rain, uh, and the gargoyle it has perched on just shakes its head and tries to catch it as it flies away. Uh, it flies away uh, over the old market, desperately trying to avoid the pollutions from the gray forges or the uh, red shade. And it goes down over Apple Lane and into the tavern in uh, Hollow Crook proper. On a sign on it, it says the owl bear. Now, owl, owl bear, because, you know, uh, the Albear uh, Tavern, and 
rain is falling everywhere and you can hear thunder striking down really, really close. Uh, the door opens and a man walks out and he shouts back, yeah, I'm going back home. No, it's, it's bad out there. You shouldn't, it's, yeah, I don't care. Thunder won't scare me. The, this f fucking mist, bah. And he walks out and this uh, is the last N1C of Elias. The roofer. Then we have, you know, uh, four days later. There is uh, at around Apple Lane, uh, and where it meets the app. Uh, well. Sort of uh, spookily named uh, Ghost Park. Uh, there is a marking in the ground, and it's clear that this has been made by the lightning strikes. <clears throat> and watching this is uh, Slandia. Who do you have, have you brought with you and how do you look? Um, I think, I don't know if I brought them with me, but there's probably a ghost bugging me right now. <laughs> they probably want something and they won't shut the heck up. Ghosts are really needy in case you didn't know. They all want something, especially when you're only one of, the, one of the only people that can hear them. They're all like, hey, listen to me. No one listens to me anymore. And like, Slash is like, yeah, I know. I heard that story already. God, stop. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, and you see this markings, scorch marks on the ground. It's... It looks a little bit like a big circle. Mm -hmm. And parts of it are very evenly made, but it's clear that it's made from the lightning strike and some of it, you know, have burn marks that spirals, mm -hmm. spirals out. Does it look like there might be anything in it or around it or it's <clears> just... <throat> well, uh, around it you can... Hmm. Make a oh, perception rule. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. First roll of the game. Uh, the difficulty for this will be uh two. Two. You add those at the top. Uh, okay. Hang on. Two purple. I have to add two purple up to the top dice pool? Yeah. Okay. And then when I go to roll, it'll like auto. Yeah. Let's try that again then. <laughs> hey, hey, that star thing says success. Is that good? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just thinking whether. Hmm, where does the difficulty die coming from? Let me see, uh, you should... You roll a lot of dice. <laughs> uh, I think that's literally the difficulty that you set, isn't it? Yeah, but there are, you know... Uh... Really, really, uh, I see a lot of green dice, where there should be only uh, two, I think. Okay, if I... If I put... Uh, my, my dice pool is blank except for the two purple that I put into it, and then... Uh, yeah! And, I know. And then I just... I just did... 
I just did perception. Which uh, could it be? Uh, I do have two cunning. Not not. Uh, not super good, but. Try now and see if that works. Okay. Yes. Oh. You just you just wanted me to get bad. You just wanted me to get bad, Sam. <clears throat> That's... Uh, you don't have to. Uh, we we have all learned something today. Yeah, no, that's. <laughs> uh, and it means that you don't have to set the difficulty. I can do that myself in the GM thing. Ah. Cool, 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 cool. Yes. It makes much more sense. Yeah. Uh, so you can remove those two purple ones at the top. Okay. Uh, but we will still go with since we did a reroll. We will still go with the success because. <laughs> Because <laughs> you Why feel like fuck? you feel like being nice to me. After. The generous god. <laughs> yeah. Very yeah. Generous god. We're, we're learning. We're learning. God, <laughs> the god is allowing us to make mistakes for the moment. Uh, you see that there are uh, twigs placed around this place. Small twigs. Like inten like, like very intentionally in a shape around it. Yeah. The heck is this? I'm gonna and like all... go ahead. <laughs> yeah, and you you also realize that you know I mean the scorch mark circle is very much a norm not a normal occurrence. This is not how it should look. I kick the twigs with my feet. <laughs> Yeah, the, the small twigs just fly away. Huh. Okay. Whatever. I move on. <laughs> uh, and the ghost says, uh, well, you show them. I was just trying to see if there was a reason, if there was, like... I mean, I guess I could, like, put them back. It just... <laughs> thought maybe they were there to, like, stop something or do something or highlight it. I guess, like... Other people want to come and see it. They can put their twigs around it too. Uh, well, yeah. Uh, can, can we go and talk to my mom now? <sighs> do you like? What do you want to tell her this time? <laughs> Stop putting so much salt in the food. I mean, I can. Can I, can I just leave her a note? I can see on the faces of my siblings that it's way too much salt. I mean, can you just tell it from me? Okay, fine. Let's let's go. If she's there, I'll tell her. If not, I'll just like leave a note. Like if you know. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's much better than you know, daily dabbling with this occult things. <sighs> Your occult things, ghost. <laughs> Yeah, and see what it brought me. Uh. I'm dead. Same boat, ghost. Same boat. Right. Anyways, let's go deal with your salt situation. <clears throat> and we will cut to... Uh... Uh, let me see which one. Uh, the... Christopher. Sorry, yes, Christopher. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Christopher, you are uh, probably. Yeah, what are you doing? Uh, what's the weather like? It's fairly sunny. Okay, fairly sunny. I'd probably be outside somewhere looking at a random building. Okay. Uh, you belong, mostly are in the old district, right? Yeah. Well, uh, lots of Gothic architecture, if I recall yeah. you saying. Yeah. My inspiration. Basically, I'm just looking and I'm basically... Uh, to anybody that's uh, watching, I'm probably just standing there, uh, my right hand tapping my leg, and I'm just staring. Yeah, no other movement other than that. Just tap, 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 tap. Yeah, and 
Yeah, and you look at the, this is one of the smaller buildings would make it stand out a little bit more in this area. Uh, well, at, at the moment, all I'm doing is staring and trying to divine, in, you know, gather inspiration. Yeah, yeah, but you look at the, this smaller building yeah. uh, because mostly uh, the buildings in uh, the old quarter is really tall, you know, right, and imposing and blocks out a lot of the sun. This one is a little bit smaller, so it's it's probably some sort of a someone has probably ordered it to be like this rather than you know build it like the ones been uh, around it and uh, well uh, you uh, uh, look uh, uh, look around and uh, uh, you see, as you look at it, you hear this growly voice from above. And you see one gargoyle shifts around at the top of this building, looking down at you. <laughs> yeah. Human? Yeah, gargoyle. <laughs> Do you want something, or are you just, you know, staring at us? It's a bit rude. I'm looking at the building. Really? I'm thinking it looks like you're watching at the, the roof. It's our home, you know. Paint the picture. It will last longer. And then the gargoyle looks around and and go, ah, fuck this, and just flies away. I, I, I sort of like look over to the side, yeah, even if nobody's there, and go, that was weird, right? Yeah, it was. And you see a small girl standing next to you, looking up at you. But he is kind of cranky. There's a lot of that going around. Yeah, old people are, you know, limited in that way, going on and on about money and stuff and not, you know, caring about having fun and you seem like you don't care that much about the money. No, no, no. Money, 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 only thing money is good for is letting me do what I enjoy. Oh, what do you enjoy? I build houses. Oh, that sounds like work. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about, you know, just putting bricks together. So, you know, some, I'm talking, you know, the really beautiful, big buildings with all the really fancy bits and stuff. That, that, that's oh, yeah, I yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it's kind of like, you know, um, uh, we all have to, you know, eat like potatoes and stews. and But I like to eat pie more because it's fun and tastes better. And you, you're like the same with houses. Kind of, yeah. I've got this idea, and you, I think you'll like it. One day, I'm going to build a big building, kind of like, you know, one of the town hall-type buildings, but in a tree. <gasps> What's a tree? <laughs> I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> Is it something with a slide? Because I think a big building should have a slide. It could have a slide. A quick way of leaving. Because it would be up high. Oh. So you'd need to be able to get down to the ground. Like the gargoyles. Kind of. They are less, very high up. But most less, of them. Grumpy, less grumpy, though. Yeah. <clears throat> there are some gargoyles that isn't grumpy. But they don't let take me up and let me 
watch from the roofs. So they're kind of grumpy, but you know, not like him. Have you watched the, you know, the, the, if you're interested in buildings, have you seen the, the building that, you know, uh, was hit by lightning a few days ago? Oh, no. I definitely want to have a look at that. Yeah, it, it, it's by, uh, I can show you. And you just tell me where it is. Oh, okay. It, it's a little bit where, uh, uh, around the humming quill. I think I know where that is, yes. I shall have to find it. Thank you very much for telling me. Yeah, I'm going to have some pie now. Get extra pie. You deserve it. I will try. My mom doesn't like it when I take more pie than I should. I'm allotted to, though, but I shall try. Bye. Have fun Bye. with your buildings. Thank you. Your, you have fun with your pie. And what was it called, uh, your friend, uh, Tree? Tree? Tree's a thing, not a person. Kind of. Some people think of them as people. That's racist. <laughs> is it? <clears throat> My face is turning red. <laughs> yeah, and, and the girl just runs off. Okay, Christopher spends a good full minute just sitting there trying to process the last minute of that conversation. Then, you know, with a spark of light, just rushes yeah. off towards where this lightning struck building is so he can see how it was affected and how it, how it can be prevented in the future. Yeah. Odd. Yes. Where are you? I'm probably at my my clinic, sort of helping out, making sure that things are going. Um, what time of day is it? It's probably around, uh, I'm going to say lunchtime. Okay. So probably finished up a little bit. I've done some cleaning. I had like the morning rush. Um, so I was like sweeping stuff out. And then I might, oh, I'm kind of, I might have a snack. Um, so I like sit out because it's, it's kind of nice out. Um, and I sit out kind of like on the bench right outside my shop. And, uh, Crunch away on some uh, street pebbles because those are real good. <laughs> <clears throat> Popcorn. <laughs> yeah. Uh, unless you do that, uh, a man approaches you. Mm, hello? Hi. Uh, <sighs> you know people, right? People come to you when you're, they are wounded? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Um, I have a problem. What sort of problem? Uh, do you know Elias? The roofer? No. <sighs> Damn it. Uh, well, uh, Anias, uh, who? Uh, Elias. He, uh, Elias. no, he has a sort of a bushy beard and a sort of a, oh, he usually ve wears a vest. Um, he, uh, I was just wondering if you had seen him because, you know, he went out into the fog a few days ago, you know, the thunderstorm. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, 
and no one has seen him since. It was like he just vanished. Do I... Have I ever heard of this guy before? That's a good question. We'll... Uh, you are mostly in which area of the city? Uh, Scaroshire, I think. Yes. Yeah. So... Uh, kind of on the, I think I said at the edge between the old town and getting into the lower part of the city there. The old uh, quarter uh, district is the southest, most to the south. Oh, okay. Uh, the number seven is Red uh, is uh, Ghost Park. Okay, I think I was on the other side. I was um, kind of the edge of the Grey Forges area. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you probably have met him once or twice. I mean, not recently, though. No, not uh, he's uh, Elias is more or less into the uh, Hollow Crook areas. Okay, but they have you know more rural buildings. It's easier to fix the roof there. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, I was just wondering if you had seen him. He's Mm. No. Oh well. Why? My, my wife is getting worried. Uh, there is. He's her brother. So. Uh, it's not like him to just disappear. No. Were you? Well, but oh well. Uh, thanks anyway. Yeah. I hope you find him. Where did he disappear? Where was he? Uh, it, it was... He left the inn and I'm sure he left a few blocks anyway because we could hear him when he left. Uh, when he says the inn, um, would that be one like... Yeah, the, the, the there is basically one? just one inn. There mm -hmm. are a few other places around, but they are more taverns rather than inns. Okay. Hmm. I'll let him go and then I'll stand up slowly. Odd is very big, very tall and very wide, and they just begin to amble slowly down the street, hands in pockets, just sort of moseying along. I'm gonna head that way. I wanna see? Yeah. If I can see anything, I don't know. I'm curious. <laughs> I'm worried. This seems like a people don't disappear usually. Yeah, and, and as you That's walk true. along and you think about the last few days, you have heard that other people have also disappeared. Oh. There are perhaps four or five people. And most often when people disappear, they doesn't tend to be... It tends to be a one-off rather than a few at a time. Mm -hmm. Especially within the city. Yeah. Hmm. Well, that's, that's, hmm. Let me continue on. Yeah, and just start looking for any sort of disturbances in the ground, that kind of thing. Make a perception rule. Okay. And I'm going to need to set the difficulty. Yeah. Okay. Perception. Oh. Hey. Damn. Yeah, that's a good roll. Four successes and a triumph. Yep. You see everything. <laughs> yeah. Yes. You spot uh, how to describe it properly. You spot a gang of children. Mm -hmm. You know that 
these people because they are Oreads just like you. Mm -hmm. Real young though, perhaps five, six years of age. Mm -hmm. You know, the proper time to go into gangs and, you know, more yes, this is... and roam around and threaten yeah. people. <clears throat> and they are, you know, looking around and you're tr trying to push each other towards something. No. And then they turn around and when they hear, oh, it's an old people. Yeah. What you doing? We found this weird thing in the ground. We try to see what happens when you go into it, but these people are too chicken shit to jump in. Well, language for one thing, but <laughs> let me see. I walk forward. <laughs> yeah, and you also see one of these circles. Mm hmm Huh. I did not... I was sweeping before. I do not probably have it with me, though. I don't think so. Is there a stick nearby or something that I can grab? Yeah. Okay. I grab a stick, and I very cautiously and as I do that I make a noise <laughs> I want to mess with these children yeah uh, <laughs> right uh, I'm gonna or add traditions of pranking each other <laughs> Right, what would this be? Uh, I just uh, want them to... They were daring each other to go and do something potentially very dangerous. Yeah. Uh, Listen, kids. Uh, uh, let me see. Uh, roll. I'm going to add a blue die for you. Okay. Because you're using the stick and making a noise. Would that be like a deception? Yes. Okay. All right. Here we go. Deception. Hey. Yeah. Three successes. Yeah. And when you do this, the kid, some of the kids just jumps to the side and just you know, takes cover. Uh, one of them uh, spins around towards the circle and pulls out the knife. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the one who talks to you uh, just lets out a small shriek. But, ah! uh, what? what? D did it that's do not... anything? No. Th that's not fair. I mean, uh, what? Life's not fair. It didn't do anything. Huh. It's weird. And the other ones are looking at their leader and go, you screamed. <laughs> We're yeah. going to have a vote on new leader now. <laughs> <clears throat> and yeah, this is no fun. So, and then they, uh, l l let's go find someone to rob. Yeah, that's more fun. Yeah. Take care. I stand yeah. and keep the circle. <laughs> yeah. Uh, And, uh, yeah, you have not seen anything like this before. No, it's it's burnt in the ground. Is this dirt yeah. here or is this stone? Like, as far as what, what's... Uh, it's, uh... Around here, it's probably more, uh, stone. Okay. Because this is, you know, bit into the Grey Forges. Mm-hmm. Uh... And you can see that it, it's whatever it was that carved it, it's very, very finely carved. It isn't, uh, the lines are very even. Hmm. Like, 
it, it doesn't look like something has chipped it or anything. It's just like someone has, you know, taken a knife and just cut it. And it's... But you also notice that it's not like any cuts you have seen. I touch the ground near it to see if the stone's any different. It's, yeah, just, you... it's just solid? Yeah, it's, it, it's solid, but when you touch it, it crumbles a little bit, like it's corroded. Hmm. I don't... This is... This is weird. I'm gonna go... F find that Christopher. <laughs> he knows. That Christopher. That Christopher. <laughs> that Christopher, yeah. Uh, I back slowly away from the thing, very cautiously. Odd is slightly freaked out. Yeah, uh, and we will cut to Jonquil. Hello. Hello. I assume you are in the Flotsam Library. That is where I tend to keep. Yeah. And the Flotsam Library, it's, uh, it's a big place, uh, several stories tall. Uh, one of the few places in, in uh, Apple Lane that actually is taller than two stories. And it's one of those places that builds out almost constantly because it needs more room to things they have secured. And this is where the library dryads live. And this is where they bring the books they gather, which they have liberated from the abandoned parts of the city. Uh, so what are you doing? Um, I am being tasked with one of my mothers by carrying up large stacks of books that I have no interest in up the stairs. Um, it's Alder. She's the older one and, uh, she needs a bit more help getting up the stairs and things. So since I'm the youngest, I'm always tasked with the busy work. So that's what I'm doing. Trying to skive off as much as possible. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, and you have noticed that there are some people who are... Uh... There's been a little bit more people than usual around these place pots. Uh... And one of them has entered now. He's been coming in a, a little bit then, a little bit that now. Uh... And you know that he's one of the people who came with the Duchess. So he's not native to the area. Uh, sort of a... When he's talking, you get the impression that he's sort of an upstart noble. He probably doesn't... He's probably raised somewhat more similar places like this, but he's trying to pretend he doesn't. And he's coming in. Uh, uh, I'm so sorry. I'm looking for some uh, books about runes. Can can you can you help me? Can... Well, probably, but it depends on the type of runes. Uh, the runes... Geomancy, Lithomancy, uh, 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 Maleficarum. Uh, this big. Runes, runes, this, this big? Yeah, it's... They come in all sizes. Oh, I can... Like magic runes or just like right? I, 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 I think so, I think so. I uh, I shouldn't... Uh, it's, uh, and he looks around and, and no one's around. So I, I don't tell anyone, but I found these and he pulls up a small rock. 
well, small and small. It's it's about this big, and it has a sort of a rune carves on it, and you can see it has some cracks, and it has some of the other runes are missing, so it seems to have been part of a bigger set. I I, I found this close to my home. It's making me uh, nervous. Um, looking at it, what? I have a little bit of rune reading knowledge. Does I do I decipher what it says? Uh, let's see what kind of. Uh, I'm thinking. Roll the knowledge forbidden. Knowledge forbidden. Uh, an advantage. Well, you can't tell exactly what it is. But you don't know that it shouldn't be carved on a building. Uh, and it's... You probably need to get some... Uh, help with it, perhaps. Someone that's also mm. a style in the occult, but... Well, I can point you to the books, I guess. Yeah, uh, yeah come, I can... along, come along. Do, do you want help? I can... I, well, I, I can hold books. What? what? Sure, hold, hold the books, that's fine. And I'll scamper along the stacks. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. And I realized we forgot something, so I can take that later. Uh, when you look at the books, uh, make another roll. Another because forbidden? I, yeah, I okay. have added two dice because you. Oh, very added nice. The, the, you know the the knowledge thing you had. Okay. That gives you extra for the dice, I think. Uh, let me see. Part of the library dread. Information retrievalist. Gives you two. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, you pull out some books and then you realize that, oh, this is the wrong one. And then you pull out the bigger <laughs> ones. And it's an old book. Uh, it probably has been pulled out in years, if ever. Um, is this the book, you think? Uh, I look over my shoulder. I read like all of these when I was six. Um, it's been a while. Um, slap it on. Dust yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everywhere. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll flip it open, see if there's anything table yeah. of contents. Yeah, and you find uh, it can be a few things because you don't have the surrounding runes, so you can't really pinpoint the thing, but it seems like it's most often used as a sort of a focus rune. Like magic focus? Yeah. Um, uh, I As he's holding books, I'm assuming I'm going to take the stone from him. Yeah. And kind of give it a little way, like shake a little bit. Does it feel <laughs> magical? It feels like a rock. Well. H have you experienced magical rocks before? Depends on your definition of the word <laughs> experience yeah. and depends on the definition of magic. Yeah, but, but no, it, it just feels like a rock. Uh, this is probably the book. You can't take it out, though. This is unknown only. Oh, okay. Um, what is the rune, then? Did you find any answer? Is it... Um, I don't really have time, but, I mean, I can I can look it up for you. If you want... Do you want me to read the book to you? Is that what you're asking me for? Oh, oh no. That, that sounds boring. <laughs> well, it's not, but... <laughs> 
Yeah, I, I was just wondering, why is it that around my home? Mm -hmm. It's well, going to turn us into frogs. Is it the witch that did this? Yes. Yes. Yes, it is. First thing. <laughs> okay, rule I, 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 uh, I know that, um, you know, on, on the, uh, the 24th of each month, where it's the uh, midnight hour, the witching hour, three o'clock, that's, that's actually when you'll turn into frogs. Deception. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> good. Not good. No, not oh, good. No. <laughs> That's a joke. Well, well it, I, I, I need to. Okay, I, I, I will put the book down and I will uh, inform the guards and see if we can launch an investigation. Thank you, thank you. And he runs off. Bye. You still well, have your phone, though. <laughs> shove them back into the shelves. A waste of my time. <laughs> Elwood, are you around here anywhere? Who did you call for? My gecko. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, and Elwood is... Uh, you can spot them sitting... Uh, on one of the shelves. Can you go? Can you go tell them that I need a break? I'm tired, and I need a snack. Uh, and you know, the gecko's tongue goes in and out, and then he crawls away. Okay, thanks. I keep on shelving books. Yeah. <laughs> Did he leave the rock here? By the way, the stone. Yes, yes, the stone is there. Okay, I'm going to take it, and um, I have a little hidey hole that I've made up for myself where I kind of practice baby magic, and I've got, like, my herbs and my crystals and things, and yeah. I'll put the stone on my desk. Uh, yeah, and you hear a familiar sort of shuffle and uh, sort of a... And Alder comes in. Why are you all the way up here? I told you I just... Uh, well, you know, uh, your uh, companion came. She holds Elwood. Oh, thank you. And, and he was, you know, pushing my books around. And, well... Well, I told him not... To, I told you not to do that. You know how she gets irritated. And then and she El comes up here, and then... And Elwood responds by, you know, the tongue going in and out a little bit. And... <laughs> yeah. Uh, we need to figure out the way to, you know... If you want to keep using him as sort of a messenger, perhaps we should figure out the way to actually understand what he says. Well, I can understand what he says. I'll teach yeah. you. I'll teach you. Okay, I'll teach. I'll teach you. Yeah, I, I know we're all dryads, and we're all supposed to, you know, be one. And but we're not all just one. We are several people. So I mean, it's, yeah. Do you know what to think about this rock? It's gray. No, look, look, look. There's a rune there. Oh, uh, and she goes down. Oh, it's a rune. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know uh, anything about that? He said it was at his house. I haven't seen one of these. In, uh, well, uh, well, no, I have seen one of these. It was like 600 years ago. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> no. 150, I think. Uh, a long time. Yeah, and come to think about it, we had the thunderstorm that back then as well. It's a, sort of a focus thing. Uh, I don't think I don't think any of the runes on the side is something to do with curses, thankfully. Uh, but it's oh, oh dear. 
can you get the book? Just put the runes. Yeah, I'll get it. And I pull it back out. Yeah. <clears throat> put it back on the desk. It's very heavy. Yeah. yeah. And very and she, small. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and older, she opens it up and she looks through a few of the pages and she goes through other pages and compares things with. You see that these runes appear on a few things, but it's all over the book. So if you don't know exactly what you're looking for, it's a little bit hard. And uh, ah, this seems to fit a little bit. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I think it's uh, sort of a power rune. You know, uh, some sort of a ritual. Like, like it's been used for a ritual? Yeah. Uh, someone mm. is attempting to do something that requires power. And, you know, you know what the usual thing about those requirements are? Well, a little. Most often, most often they want to use, you know, but to really beef it up, they use life power or like blood Ooh. Yeah, that's or, spooky yeah uh, so I don't think you shall meddle with these kind of things and she took I'm not the, meddling I don't know what you're saying but I'm not meddling he asked me Elwood no <laughs> the man did you not see the man come in here well, well like you can't see nothing. Of course, you didn't see him. There's a man. Yeah, and I am trying not to pay attention to men. Well, mm. I mean, <clears throat> you're no spring chicken, but you still got it, girl. Well, yeah, of course I do. <laughs> I'm only 400 years, so. Yeah, only. Yeah. Well, uh, I think there are a few of the Fey outcasts that's older than me, so I, I guess the jokes is a little bit on me. But yeah, I can still out out shuffle mm. anyone. No. bless your heart. Yeah, <clears throat> but you should not be meddled with these things. They are dangerous. I mean, if. If someone well, it's just been... a stone, and it's all crumbling. There's nothing wrong with it. It's fine. Well, uh, it's going to sit on the desk and to be a paperweight. Uh, well, if someone has been using this and, you know, been uh, using it to uh, some of their uh, magical rituals, that means that some people have probably died. Okay. And... Uh, Am I supposed to be scared of that? I am the occultist out of us, so... Have, have you tried being dead? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I got close once. Y yeah. Uh, uh, not everyone comes back like your friend Slanja. Right, well... Most people stay dead. Well, that's true, but I do know things and such to kind of bring me back, so it's fine. I'm not worried about it. And if not, I can always be a poltergeist, you know? Uh, well, if you know things to bring you back, how does that help you come back if you're dead? Well, you do them before. You, there's a <laughs> There's a process. It's a big. Uh, you don't don't worry about it. It's fine. Process, yeah, like cheese. Like just, cheese. <laughs> yeah. Like cheese. Cheese is a pro that's a process. Yes, you're right. Yeah. Death is like cheese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> and we will go back to. Uh, uh, odd, who are looking for Christopher, Christopher Robin, Christopher, Christopher not yeah. Robin. Yeah. 
Uh, I know where we've been near his house, so I go kind of there. You're a little bit quiet. Oh, sorry. Is this better? Ish? I think so. Maybe? Okay. I head over to his house. I really know where that is. And do I see him? <laughs> no. Start knocking on doors. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Uh... You knock on a few doors, and uh, some people are just opening. And then you know, I, I don't care about Christopher; he's just annoying. Yeah, wh- where is he though? That, that... If I don't care about Christopher, why should I care about where he is? Neighborliness, really. Yeah, no, we don't do that kind of thing here. Mm. And as you walk, you you, you see a little girl. Approaching, are you looking for the man who looks at buildings? Yeah, mm hmm. Christopher. Oh, uh, yeah, he, he was close by a little while ago. No, oh, where did where did he go? I'm trying to find him to, to the burnt out house. I can take you there. Uh, yes, uh, do, do, do you want some of my pie? What kind of pie is it? It's sort of, you know, pie. Does she have it? Does, is she keeping yeah. it? Yeah, and it's... Lean over and look at it. <laughs> it It's blueberry pie. Ooh. Yes. Okay. A little, little, little small slice. Yeah. Uh, my mom made it. Uh, uh, I got it after I sent uh, Christopher to that building that has burnt down. Mm. Mm-hmm. He's probably still there because he seemed like he cared about buildings a lot. He does. Uh, and then he 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 he, he talked about someone called Tree and. In, and was oh tr- tree tree uh, well i don't there may be someone named tree people have all sorts of names i met someone named rose once oh <laughs> yeah uh so it could uh, be someone named tree or he could have been talking about a tr- a tree that's another possibility a, a tree what's that uh, a tree is a plant Plan? Oh, yes, L- like a rose. Yes. Yes. Mhm. Uh, but bigger. Bigger than a rose, like like. Real big. Like this a- big? No. Keep going. Oh. Yeah. I want to see a tree sometime, but I'm not allowed to leave home. Ah, well, someday you shall discover a tree. <laughs> yeah. Uh... I'm not allowed to leave the, uh, well, I can leave the old district and I can go into Ghost Park, which, uh, which is weird because, you know, it's Ghost Park and it's creepy, Uh, but I'm, but I'm, but I'm not allowed to go into, you know, uh, Apple Lane or, uh, the Grey Forges because the Grey Forges, they might, you know, what was it my dad said? Uh, they might take me and make me work in one of their factories. Yeah. That seems like work. And I'm, uh, I've am i been telling my, my mom and, pa- mom and dad that I'm allergic to it. Mm. Well, if you're allergic to it, you can get a shot to help deal with that. I have a clinic. <laughs> what's, what's a shot? Is that like with the bow and arrow? No. Okay. I'm thinking it's a little bit just to the left down here and oh. following you. And you come up to a building that's been wrecked to the ground. Whoa. 
and Christopher is there. Uh, how has Christopher been? He's probably uh, ducking and diving throughout all the wreckage, trying to figure <laughs> out how how it got struck, then how the fire started. He's yeah. trying to reconstruct it all in his head. Yeah. So if, necessary, got... if necessary, he occasionally you know, conjuring like an illusion type thing of how it happened, trying to reconstruct yeah. it. Yeah, I think we forgot. How, how, what does Christopher look like? Uh, Christopher, uh, he's about five eight, uh, dark hair. Uh, it's relatively long, down to just below the shoulder, but it's a mess. Um, the way he wear, uh, the clothes he wears is very. It basically it looks like it was really expensive, immaculate, smart clothing, but he's been wearing it for ten years. So it's it's still in good condition, but it, yeah, you can, it's got all the signs of aging and all that sort of stuff. Uh, then there's the, obviously the beard, and uh, he's also got the you know, big satchel, which has got you know, scrolls and uh, other bits and pieces coming out of it. And then he's also got another satchel, which has got tools and stuff in it all the time. So he's always got his stuff on hand. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and you see, uh, as you jump back and forth, you see Odd. Hello. You are very quiet. Or muted. Yeah. According to Zoom, it's going to be muted on your end, not Zoom. Okay, how's that? Yes. Fantastic. Okay. A different microphone. I'll just leave it like this. I don't know why the other one's not working. It should, yeah. but I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Figure it out right now. Okay. Um, yeah. Hey. Hi. Have I gotten my pie? It's very important. Yeah, you have a small bit of pie. I begin to eat it as I come up closer. Hey, what's this? This used to be a building. Mm. What happened? Okay. Apparently it got struck by lightning. In a circle? Are there any sort of like patterns or anything on here that... Not what you have can, can see. Don't think so. It looks... Like I, you know. But on the other hand, it is a lot of rubble. So I mean, yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how it fell apart and stuff. Uh huh. If I can learn that, I'll be able to build buildings. That'll be able to. Have you better. figured that out yet? I poke at a rock. <laughs> uh, well, I think. Uh, the main issue was too much exposed wood in the roof work. I don't understand. <laughs> okay. Wood burns easy. Uh, other things don't. Yeah. All right. When did it happen? Apparently a few days ago. My guess is that last storm. Huh. I'm I'm looking around kind of like shuffling rocks and things, seeing if I can tell. Cause a couple days ago during the storm was also when the other the the disappearance that Elias and I'm assuming the, the four to five people has been within the past couple days. So I'm maybe connecting things. So I'm yeah. looking to see if I can see any similarities between this and what I saw before. Basically. Uh, are you mentioning something of this out loud? Or are you... Not yet, probably. Okay. I, I will turn to the audience and say, um, okay, I think I know the answer, but I'm going to ask anyway. Mm-hmm. You didn't come here about the building, did you? 
No. I had a question for you. Okay. He knows more about more things than buildings. He does. Wow. So many things. Mostly buildings, though. That's what I enjoy. <clears throat> and it seems like my dad was right, though. If if it had wood in it, because that's a fire hazard, according to my dad. That's why we're building living stone buildings. Stone definitely helps. But you need a mix, because there's stuff that wood can do that stone can't do very well. How do you get uh, wood? This goes back to the trees I mentioned. Really? Yes. The trees bring them to the city? <laughs> In a sense. <laughs> Trees are made of wood. We kill trees to make buildings? Yes. I will never build, live in a, tr a wood building in my entire life. Well, you could use the wood from a tree that died naturally. Isn't... Say, for example, we have uh, yeah, we have a storm and a tree gets knocked over. It's not going to be alive anymore, but you can still use the wood. Why would a storm knock over a tree? I mean, it, I, what if it just fell and then we want to just get up? They have a hard time doing that. They don't have knees. Well, I'm going to go home and ask my dad about this because he's That's really... That's a good really idea. You're much better explaining this than me. <laughs> and yeah, and she walks away and uh, let's see what kind of role Ard would make to me. Yeah. I'm just kind of, I'm probably starting to shuffle some stuff aside, see if I can get down to the, the foundation level. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking make a perception roll. Okay. Odd, what are you doing? I'm looking. Three successes. Yeah. You find some roof tiles that has similar markings from the lightning. I stand with one of them in my hand. I saw stuff like this somewhere else. What is it? There's cuts in the, you not see, right there. I will I, hold, wait, sorry, I, I will call. There you go. I, I shall take a close look, see if anything sparks in my memory, in my mind. You have not, well, make a roll forbidden. Forbidden. Ooh, I don't know if I've got that. Uh, Advantage. My first roll. <gasps> oh. Oh, goodness. That looks, that looks, that's four successes. Two and threat. uh, threats. Yeah, it should have had one more difficulty, but you didn't. So I'm thinking perhaps there is a setting somewhere. I don't know. Yeah, no, uh, I'm going to have to look this up. I'm just having to think, so I'm just going to make sure I don't have anything that would affect that from my stuff. No. Yeah. Because I know I was looking at a talent which would have involved, you know, better forbidden roles, but I decided not to take it. Yeah. Just for try and make a uh, a roll again and see what happens. Okay. Yeah, there it 
but it's still a good success. So yeah. And now it works. I have no idea why it didn't work before. Yeah, you notice that this is definitely magical. Uh, because you are uh, experienced in magic. Okay, which realm of magic are we talking uh, about? This here? is arcane. Arcane, okay. Uh, yep, definitely magical. Uh, and as you look really, really close, you can s tell in sort of the carvings of this, where it's, the pattern is, there are very tiny runes that has come from the lightning. So the lightning has caused ru runes to appear? Yeah. Ooh. I uh, open up one of my satchels. Um, uh, may I? I try and take the mm -hmm. thing. Take a bit of paper out of my satchel and then make a uh, rubbing of the runes. Yeah, uh, it's a little bit hard because they're very small. Okay, well, I'll take the rubbing and then, yeah, I'll take one of my things yeah. and basically fill out the detail just so yeah. I've got a copy of it. Yeah, it's a little bit easier if you just look at them and then write them a little bit larger. But... Well, the main reason for the rubbing was to get it in scale and shape and all that sort of stuff, you know, because in magic, that could be important. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Yeah, you got a, f a few prints of it. Okay, cool. Okay. Yeah, um, it seems that the lightning may have been something to do with some sort of arcane magic. It would have hit, and then these bits, the runes, came afterwards, caused by the zap. I have no okay. idea why. It made the stone crumble. There was well, a place out outside the inn, and someone disappeared. A couple people have disappeared recently. Time, short time frame. Well, it well, like I said, this it looks like this building wasn't an accident because if that lightning bolt was magical and it was leaving these runes, I would say there was something behind mm -hmm. that. What was here? What was the building? Uh, do I have any idea? It looks like someone lived here. Uh, some sort of... Uh, okay. Someone lived here. Um, we could probably find... Uh, uh, okay, the other buildings around here, are they in pretty good nick? Yeah. I'm just going to walk up to one. And then, yes, the moment! And it takes a while, and the door opens, and you can see uh, an elderly man, and there's an equally elderly woman looking behind him, looking over his shoulder. Uh, uh, yes, hello, hello. Oh, um, we are not buying anything. Oh, I, I, I am not selling. I'm, I'm here to ask you a question, if that is okay. He's... And he looks at his wife. And she looks, My name is Christopher. It is. We are not interested in joining your religion. Oh, no, no, no. That building, the one that burned down. Oh, yes, yes. Do you want to buy it? We can sell it for to you. No, I would like to know who lived there. Oh. Uh, a lovely family. Uh, you see, uh, but there was the, uh, the small one, uh, Lena, uh, I'm thinking, I don't think she was home though, so she might, she, <sighs> Lena? Yeah. She's about... 15, I think. It's it's hard to tell. They were... Uh, they had good clothes, you know. Uh, 
and then there was, you know, uh, uh, the parents, uh, Julian and uh, Alice. Alice? Is that yes. what I heard? Or Okay. Yes. Um, were they home with, when the fire was there? Well, uh, I think Alice were. Julian was taking their daughter to uh, visit some uh, relatives or friends. I'm not entirely sure. I couldn't hear properly. Okay. Thank you very, very, very much for your time. It is greatly appreciated. Yeah, uh, you don't want to buy the building? It's for sale. Uh, no, thank you. Okay. Although, if you do sell it, uh, whoever you sell it to might want to talk to me about building something new. Okay. You are one of them builders. Architect, builder, yes. Thereabouts. You don't look dwarfish. Well, that's good, because I'm not. Oh, <laughs> you're a human. <laughs> Ethel, he's a human. Yeah, I can tell. Yes. He has hair. Lots of it. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, I, I, I hope that answered your questions. And Yes, thank you very, very much. Alina, Julian, and Alice, yes? Yeah. Thank you very much. I will let you get back to your evening, afternoon, morning, whatever time of day it is. It's lunchtime. <laughs> I will let you get back to your lunch. Yes, thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. What a weird person. And they shut the door. Odd sort of <laughs> peeks out from behind the other side of the door where they were lurking the whole time. <laughs> Whoa. Was I really that weird? Yeah, I mean, I'm not that good of a judge of it, but... Yeah. <laughs> okay. I asked around for you earlier, and a bunch of people were very annoyed, so... That happens a lot. Yeah. I have no idea why. Well, think about it. Just think about it. So, people have been going missing. Well, Those we don't know people. if these people have been have gone missing. We just know... They're not there. Well, the dad and the daughter were off somewhere else. I mean, for all we know, they could be staying with family. Could be. I mean, that's what tends to happen when house burns down, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, I mean, if this is something you want to look into, I'm sure there's people we could ask. The local constabulary, for example. Could. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, they don't notice everything. No, but a burning down house tends to stick out. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there have been some people around here before. Do you want to try and... Now, question for the GM, because we had talked about, like, we had all kind of met before at a certain point, yeah. so we know the rest of the people, yeah. right? We found that yeah. strange house in the woods. Yeah. yeah. We could go and ask Blanche and... Uh, I'm trying to remember Emily's character's name. John Quill. Yeah, you get it. John Quill. Well, so, well Solange might be able to tell us if they're dead. Oh. That's right, yeah, she's... Maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Both of them know kind um, of magic stuff. There's, you said there are runes in that? 
Well, yeah, and that might be a reason to go and talk to Jungle because her books would definitely help figuring out what this is. I mean, this is fascinating. We could do tea. Do you know what the possibility here is? If you can create a magical effect which leads behind runes, and therefore yes, can tea. potentially rune it. <laughs> we could discuss magic behind. <laughs> where we could discuss my <laughs> break <laughs> discuss the disappearances and figure out how to help these people okay who do you want to speak to first both will invite them to tea uh is that okay i'm 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 going to <laughs> okay we have two ways of doing this there's my way and the way that will probably work. <laughs> What's your way? Try magic. To, to do what? <laughs> it's actually something that I'm not sure particularly comes <laughs> under the various categories of magic. <laughs> I want to send a message. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, would that be effectively, yeah, like conjure or... No, I'm thinking, uh, let me see. My guess is it'll be arcane rather than divine or primal. It sounds like it's it's possible to do in many of them, uh, but probably arcane. And I'm thinking it's uh, arcana and probably, there are a few ways. Uh, uh, Oh, utility. Yeah, utility can do it. You can use uh, attack if you want to. If you want to, you know, shout the words into their ears at the distance. Effectively, I want the equivalent of, you know, like a Star Trek, you know, the Star Trek communicator thing, right? Just yes. cast a spell, I talk, and it appears as... It... Then you don't want to use the attack one. No. <laughs> uh, but yeah, utility is probably one. Okay. Uh, that's an easy difficulty, so I'm going to... Okay, and that's going to be my arcane, yes? Yes. Okay, let me know when I can roll. I'm thinking you can roll now. Okay. Uh, success and two advantages. Yeah. So... What do the advantages do? The advantages... Uh, let me see. You can do different things... So, for example, this one is... The utility doesn't have many of them, but it's... Well, I'm just curious whether those would allow me to message both of them at the same time. It can do that, yes. In which case, I shall do that. So, let's say you, you open up a conference call. So, effectively, I create this little orb thing in my hand, yeah. which allows us to talk into, and it's going to speak to them. Um, Slanta, uh, Junko, uh Ord's got a question. Do you want to come over for tea? <laughs> Some weird things happening, and uh, you can talk about it. You know, what kind of weird things? People disappearing, rocks crumbling, and strange lightning marks that are runes, apparently. Everyone's talking about runes today. I don't understand what's going on. I don't know how long this, this magic's going to last. Let's make a decision. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serving us tea? Are we going to your place? Yeah. Uh, you don't make the best tea. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, well, some of us don't have the best time in super public places. Oh, you're telling me. Um, I got a rune, actually. There's a the man that dropped it off. I don't know why he took it, didn't take it back with him. I'm sure it's expensive or something, but I mean, so I could bring it over. At the, at the library. My mothers will not let me have friends over in this place. <laughs> and you hear a, a door opening. And I, 
are you still out here on my porch? What? <laughs> We're having a conversation on the porch. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Who's that? Are you are you bothering some old person? Sorry, sir. I'm on the orb. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ethel, uh, bring me my wand, please. I'm going to take a few steps down the road. <laughs> Just, you know, nervously looking over my shoulder as I go. Can we make yeah, a decision, yeah. please? Yes. Yeah, please. it sounds fine. It's fine. Do we bring this rock or not? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, magic rock. You know I want to see magic All rock. All right. Ellsworth, get the bags. We're going. Clink. <laughs> <laughs> Hang up the orb. <laughs> Where are we meeting? It's too late. We're gone. I'm already, I'm already gone. I'm already gone. I don't know about her. I'm already gone. <laughs> oh, do you know where we're meeting? Uh, the inn. That's a good idea. They'll have tea at the inn. Yeah, and... You know where the inn is. There okay, oh, the inn. Perfect. Uh, on the map. Is the inn uh... the owl beer? Okay, yes. do I know yeah. the magical capabilities of the others? Perhaps not as good as you think? Well, no, whether they got them. Because I'm guessing from the way things go, we know that sometimes they can talk to dead people. Yeah. You know a little bit, but I don't think anyone knows exactly what the other are capable of. Mm-hmm. Well, no, I'm just curious as to whether John has got it, and you know, if necessarily they'll be able to call me, or whether I'm going to call them later. But I'll just make the assumption that they can't, and possibly yeah. have to call them again. To the inn, and I let the yeah. orb... Yeah, and we have a sort of a screen wipe yes. to the inn, uh, where I'm thinking from where direction-wise. Yeah. Uh, uh, John Quill probably arrives first. Uh, describe yourself. Uh, so John Cole is very short. Um, she has kind of like pine needle green skin, and she also smells like pine needles. Um, her hair is a mix of like normal looking hair, a little kind of thicker looking, almost like muddy quality, but not dirty. And she's got very long um, branches that kind of spread out, mixed in, and they have little berries on them, little little red berries. Um, she is dressed, um, how would I describe it? Um, she doesn't really put much thought into her clothing. Kind of think like Professor Trelawney from, from Harry Potter. Just a mess of shit. Um, and, um, yeah, she's already, she'll, she'll be in there already sipping tea when everyone arrives. She just assumed everyone would show up here because yeah, God doesn't make good tea, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the second one that will arrive will be Slonja. Describe yourself, because we forgot that. Um, they are... They are, uh, like, medium height, kind of slim... Um, mostly trying to, like, stay covered up. There are possibly a few bandages covering some flesh that might be a little peely, you know, um, which happens sometimes when you're slightly dead. Um, and they're, they're dressed, like, pretty clean and pretty neat, but at the same time, it's definitely, they've been wearing the same thing for a long time. Um, but it's mostly a handsome-ish pantsuit, and they've got kind of a jacket with a hood they often keep up, especially in public, to cover their face a bit. 
Um, and they're probably, they probably stand outside for a second finishing a cigarette. Some of the smoke comes through a bit of a hole in their cheek. And then they butt it out and go inside. <sighs> um, and if they see John Quill, they'll go straight over there and sit down, kind of wordlessly. Yeah, this is in the middle of the rural area, so it's probably a little bit out of uh, Sanja's comfort zone. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I have a the big rock on the table as well. <laughs> yes. And well, the few I'll, I'll I'll say I'll probably have taken a few of the oh shit a few of the um. <laughs> I have like a razor blade in my hand. I don't know why I'm waving this around. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> <That's okay>. I mean, <laughs> it's for art. Thank you. Um, it isn't because of the tree comment earlier, is it? <laughs> yeah, I'm about to stab that kid. Um, no, uh, Sheila brought some of the the rune books with her. They're just all stacked up there. Probably pissing the, uh, the innkeeper off, but fuck it, you know? <clears throat> uh, yeah, uh... <sighs> Can I help you with anything more than are you just happy with tea? Do you have, like, um, like some kind of cake? You know? Not uh, like... Uh... Uh, but we, we have uh, uh, we have a stew. It's a vegetarian. We have, um, we have some bread. Bread. The bread sounds good. Bread okay. is definitely closer to cake than stew. Eat, actually, do you can do you eat? I can eat. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anything. <laughs> Uh, I, uh, do need to eat, but, uh, you know, ghosts don't pay a lot, so I'll just wait and see what's left over afterwards. Let's... I'm gonna start pulling berries from my hair and give them to her. Oh. They are edible. <laughs> oh, I will absolutely eat those. <laughs> and if some twigs come along, I will eat those, too. Do you have any taste buds? They, like, decayed. Yeah, you know, it's all the same at this point. Well, it all just gets jumbled up in the end anyway, you know. Yeah. But. Bread! Yeah. Bread sounds good. Uh, can we, like, move? I feel like we're at, like, a table kind of in the middle. And I'm like, <laughs> can we just, uh, like, shuffle on, like, at a point to, like, a booth that's in the corner, like, that's, like, tucked in a corner, if we can just go this over here. Dark in the dark. <laughs> yeah, just that'd be. I'll, I'll, I'll we'll take this and lifts up the stone. <laughs> just <laughs> shuffle, just head over this way, <laughs> and redeposits themselves down in <laughs> like a, a shadier booth. Oh my god, yeah, don't move. <laughs> yeah, and as you do this, uh, a little bit later, uh, Christopher and uh, Odd comes in. Scribe. And you see these people are sitting in a sort of a, more of a corner. Yep. So... There's a, there's a big rock on a table, and uh, it's attempted to be pushed a little bit by a gecko. Yeah. Yeah, he's with me. <clears throat> so odd waves. Yeah, odd odd waves back slowly. Uh odd is very is this previous side was very big and mostly looks like they're made kind of out of various rock bits. Um like a lot of shale. Uh, kind of thing, and their hair is kind of rocky and sticks up in a little bit. They're kind of mm, not halfway between Professor Trelawney, probably, and someone respectable. 
uh, with a like a, a white lab coat that has various undetermined stains on it <laughs> and a scarf because it's comfy and Ab likes to be comfy kind of ambles over hey you found it well just right down the road so mm, yeah I think it's convenient does it have good tea? oh I yeah there's there's tea there's bread coming too I didn't order this too because it's not vegetarian Mm. As Christopher gets to the table, um, he just goes high and thrusts the piece of paper in front of uh, uh, John Quad with the uh, so rubbing and the runes. Oh, you want me to read to you, do you? <laughs> I know what it is. I just thought you might be interested. It's oh, cool. you can read runes? Yes. Well, what do they say then? What do they say? <laughs> I'm asking the DM. Yeah, um, I have I have Runecraft, so yeah. Um, let me see. Set this difficulty. This one. Uh, I mean, you might be better at runes than me, but you know. Uh, and I'm gonna use a story point. Ooh. Ooh. To do what? To upgrade the difficulty. Oh, oh really? Really? Yeah. Really? That that means it's important, guys. <laughs> Let's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> roll the rooms. If the no wait, it's it's a knowledge roll. So uh, mm. um, oh, well, the only, well wouldn't the appropriate knowledge be rooms? Uh, no. Uh, let me see what you have. Because I asked about this before. I mean, yeah, uh, this is knowledge but, law. And uh, knowledge. I'm going to open the character sheet because. Mm -hmm. uh, Forbidden? Forbidden lore. I'm going to say it's probably lore this time. Okay, that's cool. In which case, as a commoner, I'm going to spend a story point to, give my, to upgrade another one of my dice for free. Yeah. I will click in. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> let's see how this works. Okay, so in theory, I should be rolling two yellow, one green. Yeah, I've added all the difficulties and stuff. Yeah. Uh, it it didn't say any results. It's just the bottom thingy. I don't yeah, the bottom thingy is okay, but. Uh... Should I try again? I'm thinking that's three that, successes. Does that mean nothing happened? <laughs> yeah, it does. Really? Yes. Oh, it was just they all like they all cancelled out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely everything cancelled out. Wow. Yeah. Wow. You know that it's there are runes. <laughs> and these are runes. Do I get a rough area? Uh Yeah, uh, it seems like it's a mix of a few runes. Uh, you can't we... read it, and I snuffed out of this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, it's it seems like it's a little bit of a mix between uh, elemental magic, primal, and uh, necromancy. Okay, in which case, okay, okay, you're right. I can't read, read it, but that's because it's mixing up. See, elemental, necromancy. You don't know anything about this. Um, I'm gonna plop Ellsworth into whoever's next to me's lap. Probably odd. <laughs> Take this. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, there's the paper, or you could look at the actual rock. Well, uh, there's they're connect they're connected. You got these off the Not other rocks, rock, right? This rock. What for? You just can't you can't call her like that, okay? That's not. I mean, the, you can't call them like that. That's not that's not nice. In their hands. What? <laughs> the thing that we got the. Sorry, I was feeling. I'm lost. <laughs> 
the thing that you were carrying that you got from the building. Uh, the tile. The, yeah, that I took the rubbing from. I took the uh -huh. rubbing from my use, but you've got the tile, right? Y yeah. Uh huh. That's what I'm pointing at. Mm -hmm. that, oh, the, the rubbing's fine. That's fine. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna flip open my book and kind of pour through it, seeing if there's maybe like symbols that I can match up. Um, got like my little tongue sticking out as I'm reading. <laughs> Gently petting the gecko. <laughs> Christopher slips into a chair and kind of like pulls a book out of his bag. And just like, <laughs> um, yeah. Where'd you get that? The library is not the only place that has books. No, I know. Where'd you get it though? Never, never mind. I'll get it from you later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, as you open the books, uh, make a lore roll. Okay. I have set the difficulties and added the dice for you. Lower. Oh, that looks good. That looks good. But that looks, it looks very, very weird. Is it? Those blue dice. Yeah, blue. what are those? I don't know. Those of uh, advantage. Those are the Aren't these the dice when you downgrade them? No. Uh, I'm thinking that this, this is some weird output because too too. Has the dice roller gone weird? I can try and make it. No, roll. maybe. I think same thing happening, and this is really fucking weird. Should we should we try another roll and just see like what it does? Well, yeah, there's two fa there's two failures and there's two successes on those dice. Yeah. Yeah. I have to do it again just to see what happens because. Okay. I Okay. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay. It was the same. We got so, zero results for two times in a row. Yeah. That's fucking weird. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. In the rules, uh, what is? No results. Does it actually say that you have to get a success, or you have to just beat the? No. Uh, match if, the you, if you don't get a success, it's a failure. Okay. Uh -huh. No, I was okay. just wondering whether you had to match the difficulty or whether you had to. Yeah. No. Get plus one. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so we will go with the first result where there was nothing happened. Uh, and um, you can tell uh, from this that the, the runes are very hard to read because the size of it. It's but the big problem is that when you look at it, it seems like it's sort of rune fractals the rune themselves are built up uh, as the lightning goes in it seems like it's bigger that goes smaller and then even in those it goes even smaller and mm. from, from behind my book I go looks like someone else can't read them either and they thought <laughs> I, <laughs> I can read them um she um she, uh, I'll give you the scowl. Um, where did you find these? Uh, a house over back, back uh, down in Old Town. I give the address. Well, the other guy didn't give me his address, but I'm assuming they probably went to the same house. Um, and was it the, the guy who gave you that rock? Was it his house? Because the house we got this from burnt down and got struck by lightning. Yes, I think. Was his name Julian? Oh, he didn't give me his name. It's fine. <laughs> I don't know. Old enough to have a fifteen-year-old daughter. Did he look old enough to have a fifteen-year-old daughter? Uh, well, he... well, uh. Just uh, junk will pay much attention to humans. No, humans <laughs> age. Um, she's no. <laughs> yeah, well, he, he, he's by uh, Dryad's age standard, he looked awfully junk, young. So I mean, eh, I don't know. Old enough to buy a beer. The, the... Is that old enough to have a kid for you all? 
Yes, and, and yeah. one often leads to the other. Uh, yeah, and as you told uh, them the address, it's uh, it's pretty close to the Humming Quill, which you probably know of. It's one of those uh, uh, shops uh, where they are selling... Uh, I'm thinking which one it was. Uh, I need to look this up. Yeah, it's one of the places where they actually sell books and tomes. So you... Uh, so John Quill, you probably know this and probably have heard your sisters talk about it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I mean, it, it's it, it, it's a very bad place because you know they keep books from the library. Right. Well, they're probably up to no good. But I mean, if there's more, I mean, theoretically, we could just put them together and finish the ritual. Ah. May not be a good idea. I found one. That's why I went and found Christopher. Um, well, where did you find one? Uh, it was near my shop. Well, no. A guy came to my... Wait, wait, wait. Hang on a sec. Guy came to my shop. He's concerned his wife's brother went missing. And they showed me where they, they had scorch marks on the ground in like a big circle. Mm -hmm. And the rock went all crumbly. That, no. I don't want to complete whatever that is trying to do. Well, it's probably just like some minor form of geomancy. It's probably not even a big deal. We're... People have gone missing. Like, four right, or Right, but people. I mean, okay. like, if you're doing just... it wrong, then, you know, theoretically, you'd, you know. These rooms were off. not inscribed in the normal fashion. Right, it's nature based, but it's, you know, that's not uncommon. <laughs> Where the lightning strike was it surrounded by branches? Mm. Sorry, but was what surrounded by branches? The lightning strike that Ald said they found. Not that I know of. Was it formerly surrounded by branches that had been kicked? <laughs> Do I remember that at all? <laughs> you didn't look for branches. <laughs> I don't know. I don't look at wood very much. The one I no, saw wasn't was no. it near Ald's Clint like shop clinic? No. Oh, okay. Well, <clears throat> I saw a lightning strike. And it was round, like what you're saying. Uh huh. And then someone had put branches around it. And I wasn't sure if it was dumb kids right. or some sort of geomancy magic, like you just said, John Quill. I mean, it could be a lot of things. It could just be, you know, it could be, it could be black magic, to be honest. You know, there's nature-based black magic, I guess, but... My, my, one of my mothers actually said something that there was, like, a... There was, like, a, a lightning storm 150 years ago, and these showed up as well. So it's probably haunted. Haunted? I think Christopher might pop if we don't. As Slanche reaches fun. over and takes Christopher's hand and puts it down. <laughs> um, on the topic of person disappeared and possible other person disappeared, Slanche, have you had any new clients recently? What do you mean clients? Ghosts. There haven't been any new ones, has there? Not so that much, no. It's the same. It's the same ones. Okay, so the names Alina, Julian, or and Alice don't mean anything to you. Or Elias. Nah, just Jeremy bugging me about his mom putting too much salt in her food. Do you want to do a séance? Yes. I know how to do one. <laughs> 
That sounds like and, an excellent plan. Well, and I think we're going to use with that possibly have. <laughs> I think we're going to stop there with that uh, yes uh, yeah. the plan. <laughs> and take a small break. <laughs> Love it. Awesome. So yeah, <clears throat> it's it's a good plan. We should defo defo have. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> it was an excellent oh, suggestion. Jungle. Are we about to prove that time is relative? <laughs> I guess we'll see. Yeah. So uh, we're going to take a break. You should, too. Go get yourself a drink. Go get yourself a snack. Get up and stretch. And we will be back in a few. Not promising how long. Because then Mole's just going to hold us accountable for it. I'm just going <laughs> to. But, you know, five to ten-ish minutes. Who knows? We'll see you back in a few. Go get yourself a snack. See you soon. Onward. Onward. <laughs> oh, hello there, Raiders. Welcome on in. How's it going? Thanks for the raid. Welcome into our first episode ever of uh, Neat the Saturnine Moon. I always want to say it wrong. I always want to say it wrong. Is it Saturnine or is it Saturnine? Is it Saturnine or Saturnine? Saturnine. Saturnine, I think. I yeah, it's, I thought it's Saturnine, yeah. Okay. That sounds right. It sounds fancier. It's so, you know. Saturnine. It sounds like a sci-fi series. Yeah. <laughs> it's, all, it's, it's all foreign words, so I mean. <laughs> well, welcome and thanks for the raid. Please uh, sit down and join us. We were just having tea in and out of game, I think, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and, that would be great. And we're we're just debating whether it's a good idea or not to do a seance. Some of us think it's a great idea. I think it's a great idea. I it's think fine. it's a great idea too. <laughs> we're also debating completing a runic ritual, which may end the world as we know it. I think. Yep. As one does in session once. Well, seems fine. Yeah. And I would just like to point out that it's the same person that has proposed both. <laughs> I'm just, you know, I'm just saying. I know, you know, I don't really get out that much. So, you just sound like a spoil sport. <laughs> oh no, I love an it. old man. I have, I've been called worse. Mm. Okay. <laughs> a thought occurs to me. We have potentially missing people. Okay. Mm. And from what was said potentially th at least three of these strikes slash runes slash what have you. Mm -hmm. um, what I wonder is what caused what? I.e. were the runes and magical strikes etc. to dispatch people? Or did people disappear coincidentally from these strikes which had other maybe they were the ones that did the ritual or that elias is a roofer i don't think he not a lot not 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 the, not the roofer well i'm a librarian so <laughs> <laughs> do true. i know elias i uh, i've seen him around yeah he... specifically you know i'm an architect and i tend yeah to... you, you probably know elias he's that Elias, the roofer. Uh huh. He's good. He is. Yeah. I mean, they never fell off because they never saw him. <laughs> so, success right there. Okay, the rune that's on the ta the stone that's on the table. Mm -hmm. Is it a single rune or a set of runes on the tile? It's. Looks a little bit different from the the other rooms. This looks like it's been uh, carved properly. So this is more properly cut. May I do a law roll to yeah get an idea of what it's about? Which law? Uh, that's a normal law. Normal law. Okay. Uh, do they look but... about the same age though? Like, oh. does oh, the yeah. card one look that's much not... older? Maybe. Uh, well, uh, re-roll that one. Okay. Typical when I get a good roll. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, uh, still a success. Yeah, and you get an advantage. And an advantage. And it's a threat, so that's a possibly an even better roll. Possibly, yes. 
<laughs> but yeah, it, it's um, uh, the rooms are carved. Seems like it's been carved pretty recently. Uh, the ones that are on the roof tile, uh, it's, it's hard to tell age, but it seems like you know that one is probably just a few days old. The one on the stone, what was it intended to do? Uh, that was more of a focus rune. Oh, I got one of those too. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's the one. We it's going to be about. like um, I don't know, some kind of like power. I don't know if you know, dark me anything. Okay, oh. just to track this. Could this rune uh, be linked to the others as a means to focus the magical energy to create the lightning strikes that cause the other on the tile? Maybe. And the GM answer is? <laughs> <laughs> the GM answer is, yeah, probably. Yes. It Let's seems see. like they are linked. Okay. Well, that's something. And this kind came from a guy. Well, uh, you can't really say that. It's, you know, it's, it's handiwork. No, I mean, you've got this from a guy who came into your life. Oh, yeah, that guy. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. he came in and he was like, yeah, it's going to turn me into toads. And I'm like, yeah, it sure it's going to turn you into toads. Give me the rock, dude. And uh, then he gave me the rock. So. A good way to get a rock. Uh, well done. <laughs> and I'm guessing you don't know where it came from. Um. Well, he said it was from his house and he looked kind of expensive. Oh, you know what? He was from... Um, uh, the Duchess. He was oh. with her. Yeah. Oh. Probably like one of her lovers, you know. These are all over then. Right? Sounds like it. You know that the people who came uh, when the Duchess moved here, uh, they are mostly centered around uh, repopulating the old district and uh, also uh, some parts of uh, Ghost Park, but they try to stand out of there because it's not quite as fancy buildings. Mm -hmm. Wait, didn't you say that they were in Ghost Park, though? Uh, I'm thinking... I don't remember. Well, we know. I mean, I'm asking Sanch because she she was in the in the park, right? They were there was things in the park, the twigs, the branches. Yeah, there was like there was like a circle, then hit by lightning, and there was a circle oh. of branches around it. Okay, so it's probably it's probably the Duchess oh. then. Case solved. Oh, there you go. So we're done. All right. So we can we can all go now. Is that but it? But why why is she doing it? I don't know. I don't want her to do it. Is it is it like an intentional thing? Is it a side effect of something else she's doing? Like up to other kind of weird Duchess well, doesn't it, magic. Doesn't it take like you have to read stuff and write yeah. things when you make runes? Kind of. I mean, like, it depends yeah. on the rune, really. So, I mean, it seems like electricity like made these runes, so. And, you know. You were saying that your 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 mother said that it was. Oh, yeah, 150 years ago, Storm. She's a little bit old, though, you know, unreliable. No, old folks, no stuff. That's weird. What happened 150? Because 150 years ago, the Duchess wasn't here, so it couldn't be her then. Right? Unless she's immortal. 
but she wasn't they hadn't come here yet right they they're more recent than that uh, yes okay. yeah they're new to town yeah that she was taken over by the new duchess yeah 150 years ago was there nobody here or was there somebody else here uh people were living here uh 150 years ago of course but uh i'm thinking perhaps about 300 years people emigrated from the uh what was it called? Uh, now i'm forgetting names that came up with myself uh, yeah. uh, uh scarroshire parts mm -hmm. of the town they left there and went into the more rural areas and some moved away mm -hmm. Uh, and some people, of course, stayed, but uh, most of the people now that has been starting to uh, re uh, come back and with the Duchess, the Duchess came uh, three years ago, mm. trying to reclaim the area for the capitals. So... I'm just saying, I'm not sure if the Duchess is involved. Yeah, the guy... You, you said that the guy who brought the rock who was something to do with the duchess thought it was going to turn him into a frog or something i mean i've heard the duchess of a vampire so i mean she could have been here 300 years ago I, I i'm just saying that if the guy that works for the duchess thought this was going to turn the turn him into a frog that would indicate that he's not actually involved with the use of the focus Mm -hmm. Well, just because us. he's not doesn't mean that she's not. No, but we can't go ask her uh, up in the. No, but we could probably like. I don't sneak in. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm merely trying to say that just because he found the rock, shouldn't infer her involvement. No, I didn't think about that. Because he didn't know what it was. Well, okay. You know what? There's no ruins here. And the bread is... I just... It, I guess it forgot. I ordered bread. Um, Maybe they're baking it. Yeah, um... Well, let's go find some of these ruins, and I don't know. We could put them I together didn't... or something. I didn't want to interfere. Uh, you can see... Oh... <laughs> Is he standing there uh, waiting like to deliver the bread? <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> you see uh, uh, Roganild standing there. Uh, she has, you know, and she's holding uh, a tray with some, about ha half a loaf of bread sliced up. How long have you been here? Well, uh, about a minute or two. It, it was, I mean, do you know anything about runes? Uh, no. Uh, I do not, and I do not want to know anything about the other things either, because, you know... Are you sure you're going to go and, you know, you know accuse the Duchess of doing things? I didn't say... Shh, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. <laughs> I am a librarian, so... <laughs> For someone yeah. who didn't want to interrupt, it seems like you were listening to a lot of the conversation. Yeah, that's because I didn't want to interrupt, because I want to hear what you were talking about. Oh, do you want... And, I mean, do you want to learn about runes? I can teach you. She's really good at reading books. Let's... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, where is the I like the, the eyebrows, the like, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you want, you want books? Got books. And the, I got books. Yeah. yeah. Opens the uh, cup. Roll a charm. <laughs> charm? Oh. Yeah. This is gonna be good. This is gonna be real good. Why is it my thing? Okay, my PC was just wigging out there. Um, charm. Oh, I see it. Okay. Um, oh. That's a no. That's a no. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. Uh, 
I'm gonna have to do a rain check on that one. Okay, well, you can find me at the Flotsam, so. Just ask for John Quill. Yeah. Uh, Bye. Have... Uh, leave the bread, leave the, leave the bread. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here's the bread. And, uh... Please tell, uh... I put it, uh... Uh, Olin, to, uh, please don't drag my customers out just because they have some overdue books. And you know, Olin, uh, it's one of your siblings, okay. uh, work as uh, book hunters. Oh, I mean, I, you know, I'll try, but, um, it's not my job, so. I'll tell him. It's fine. I'll tell him. It's fine. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm fine with them coming and asking, but, you know, knocking on the door uh, to my customers and then, you know, dragging them out because they're a day overdue is perhaps a little bit harsh. It's it's bad for business. Is it? Is it? Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> Counterpoint. Not doing it is bad for the library's business. It's true. He's got a point. He doesn't know how to read, but he's got a point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can find people, you know. I've heard. Their guards find people all the time. I mean, I'm sure the library can do the same. Well, it sounds like they found them. In your hand. So that... Please talk to them, and you can have the bread for free. Okay, deal. Yeah. Just plop it on the table, start yeah. peeling into it. <laughs> <laughs> What's that look for? I'm hungry. <laughs> I've never seen someone get bribed with bread before. <laughs> <laughs> I know it works. <laughs> Fascinating. <laughs> That's true. Well, I'm very charming, so, you know. We can tell. <laughs> okay, runes, so Runes. Let's get get a to-go box. Let's go. I'm going to lean over to Ald and just whisper, was that sarcasm? <laughs> w which part? <laughs> <laughs> we can tell. Is that even a whisper? <laughs> No, odds not with me. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? Let's. Where are we going? Well, back. there's no runes here, and there's no yeah. lighting strikes here. Uh -huh. So, if we go where they were, mm -hmm. maybe we can find more clues. It might yeah. be worth talking to the Constabulary as well to see if there's. I read about there. it in a book once, you know, like mystery solving. You gotta look for the clues. You're very into the constabulatory, I can tell. It's, it's... Not I'm really. Like... I just figured they're the most likely people to have been told if people went missing. Yeah. I don't think they see anything. It's... <laughs> very anti-constabulary. Yes. I've heard all constabulary are bastards, so... This is definitely true. Uh, so if you want to go to the constabulary, <laughs> it sounds like you're going there, and we'll all go look at the lightning Wasn't there strikes. something about a seance? Is that not happening anymore? I'm uh, it was just an offer, you know, we could talk uh, to these... I mean... If, if they're dead. It seemed like Christopher was the one that didn't want to participate in that anyway, so when he goes to the constabulary, we can all do that. Just I mean, I don't really want to participate either, but... What? <laughs> what? What? What do you have against dead people, huh? Nothing. I, I, I'm just gonna sit here and wait for the conversation to come around again. <laughs> that was a good plan. The sit, sitting in if you stay in one place, it's a good way to help people find you again. Uh, I don't. I'm just I, ghost skepticism. Oh, you don't believe in ghosts? Mm, are there... I mean, do you believe in magic? 
Yeah, I mean, I've seen what, like, Christopher do some stuff. I don't know. Are there any ghosts around? <laughs> Not what you can tell. Uh, Dang it. Fine. Ninja ghost. But, but, but you also know that sometimes, you know, you need to bring ghosts forward and not so much as they are this is not seems not like the place they were would linger around because which ghosts not like beer i was gonna say that I've, I, I'm, I'm shocked that there's no ghosts that don't want to drink right now <laughs> it, it, it's more that there are too many living people mm, i get that mm. and most taverns have a no body no service rule Guys don't care about your rules. Anarchy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Ghosts, it weirds me out a little bit. I uh, yeah, fine. We can go do the seance too. As well. well, she could just like talk to them naturally, but you know, it's mm -hmm. fun. Fun is good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I've never like, actually done one myself, but it's, yeah. the go the ghosts like it when you call them instead of them having to come to you. You know, like sometimes a ghost just wants to feel wanted, so seance is like it's a nice I thing. I don't understand, but okay. Can you call them on an orb? I don't know. Usually they just come and talk to me, but we can we can go try and like call some. Hmm. See if they've seen anything. I wonder. Yeah, we could ask them if there's any new ghosts in town. No, I'm just wondering if it is possible through the uses of the arcane or the divine to create an orb which would allow us to hear what you could hear. I don't know, Magic Man, you think it up. Let's go. Yeah, you start working on that, and while you're doing that, we'll go look at stuff. I can do both. Okay, cool. <laughs> let's let's go look at stuff then. Where do you are you headed? Um, probably, probably Ghost Park. She had mentioned something about yeah the the branches there or something to do. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, yeah And I'm nature based anyway, and I like spooky shit, so. It's both your shit. It's your shit. Yeah. Doubled. Let's do it. Yeah. So you are at the place where Slanya found the circle. And you can see some of the branches have been put back. See, I knew someone was up to something. That was... The ghost? I don't it's know. It's in a circle, yes? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to start looking around inside the circle for a ring. Yeah. <laughs> she so... looks so unhappy. <laughs> 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 yeah. When you go closer and watch the burn march marks of the lightning, you can see that the, the burn marks is made up of tiny, tiny runes. Same ones from the tile, or different ones, but in the same style? Same ones from the tile. So if I was to put my rubbing down here, would I yeah. be able to get it to a point where it almost matched? Yes. Cool. I'm keeping an eye out as they're, they're going to do their, their magic figuring things out stuff and I'm not because that's not yeah. my specialty. I'm just keeping an eye out to see if I can tell if anyone's like because the sticks were replaced if someone's watching us um, if we're that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, well. Uh, are they on not so yeah, uh, make a perception roll. I think I've said this difficulty now. Perception? Okay. Yes. While uh, she's doing that, I kneel down and kind of pluck one of the twigs out, lick it. It, it, it tastes like wood. 
probably from around here. Let's take it back in. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. I got I got oh. a bunch of successes, but oh. also two threats. Yeah. You look around and you first you feel watched. Oh. Oh. And you look around and then it feels like you watch from lots of directions. And then uh, you think, uh, first one raven, then another one, then a third, and one of them flies down and it's holding a small branch in its mouth. And then it drops it by the circle, and it looks at where are uh, Christopher in the relation to the circle. Is he inside I'll, of it? I'll be or? inside it, probably still with the piece of paper. Yeah. yeah uh, and the raven just croaks and just shakes its head, looking at you. I completely don't notice. Yeah. Hey, 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 Christopher. I think the bird. I think I think the bird doesn't want you in there. And then you hear some sort of a rustling, and then out from the small shrubbery, uh, let me see, where is it? Uh, I had the NPC search. Yeah, uh, a small man comes out. Uh, scars in their face. Uh, Recent scars? No. Okay. And they're holding twigs in their hands, and they are just looking at you. And... Hi. You those your birds? It looks at the birds and then nods. Be a form of Valkyrie. <clears throat> you don't want us messing with it. What did you say? Don't want us messing with it. I'm like it, indicating it, the circle. It, it, it nods again and then he points and then he points up and he makes some sort of a croaking noise that just sounds weird coming out from a human. Uh, and one of the birds pop up on his shoulder and croaks a little bit more and tries to it was lightning that made that uh, and that you say this the bird makes a sort of a sort of a sarcastic uh, point with the wing it, what's it pointing at at you at you at me yeah as you say it was lightning a yes go was made oh. with a rock, and, and you can see okay. it, it, it's starting to struggle a little bit. And you know, and the human and the bird are looking at each other, and uh, and the human does. Oh wait, you got paper. Can you write? Do you know how to write? <laughs> Give me the paper. Get the paper. Okay, in my knowledge of the arcane arts across the spectrum, how hard would it be to do something which would allow him or the bird to talk? Uh, that would be in one of the charades, Pictionary. <laughs> Charade. <Yeah. laughs> uh, Four words. <laughs> I'm guessing it's a bit more than just utility. Yeah, I'm going to see. Men? Uh, wait a minute, it's in one of the skills for magic. Uh, uh, primal. Okay. Uh, and from the primal, it's probably augment. I was looking at augment. <laughs> uh, so it's with base difficulty 2 and... Uh, augments. Uh, is the base difficulty too? Mm. Yeah. No, no, I'm asking why, so I understand. Be because augment is automatically based. Yeah. Ah, oh, okay. It says it next to the spell. Yeah. 
so yeah, I'm gonna say that's the one that applies. Uh, you can add diff more difficulties for add additional effects. Yeah. If you look at the magic effects mm -hmm. table augment. I, I, I will just go for it and if I get advantages I will use them to get the additional target but I'm just literally looking for a way for him to be able to talk to us. Yeah. Uh, so uh, should I spend a story point to get the, uh, to make this more likely or not? How okay? You, you have five story points, uh, so it's, it's a communal pool, isn't it? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Which it is why I'm asking, I don't mind. But, yeah, I don't mind. Story point to yeah one of my dice. Yeah. So click the use story point on your character sheet. Okay. Mm. Use player story. Oh, somebody else already did it. No? No. No. You, did. Oh, okay. you just did. Yeah. And I've clicked in the upgrade, so you should. Uh, the upgrade. I have upgraded, so you did, and I've added the difficulty, so it's just to click the. So I, just, I don't change my sheet, I just press the button. Yeah, you, push, you just push the no primal. Problem. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Wow. Uh, well, that's yeah. four successes. Four successes, yeah. Threat. Ah, uh, threats. <laughs> Yay, threats. Keeping it I interesting. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I I'm going to say you take one strain for this. Okay. It's sort, of a, it's sort of a stress thing. The brain twinges. <laughs> Which tab's that one? Uh, it should be at the top. Oh, yeah, yeah, that current strain one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and that's the spell. How does it look when you cast the spell? Um, uh, well, I'm primal, so it's going to be nature based. Uh, I'm just gonna have it so um, little uh, spirit-like. Uh, sorry, were they crows or ravens? Ravens. Ravens pop up next to them, and effectively they translate. Okay. Basically, you know, when they try and communicate, the little spirit actually says it next. <clears throat> okay, you can hear the raven croak a little bit and talk to the person. And the spirit is. Uh... Wait a minute! I, I'm. I'm thinking. Hi. I'm thinking. Four months, uh, huh? And then suddenly the voice of the spirit goes a little bit deeper. And. <clears throat> you see, this is why we don't talk to humans. I mean, they are just meddling with things. They don't. I thought we could call. Oh. Excellent, excellent. Y you can hear me? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, thank you. And to go to your point, I'm here because I'm trying to understand. Uh, yeah, you, you... Last time I saw someone standing in this, they fucking died, so, you know, we sh should... I step backwards out of this. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think we're building a wall around it? I mean, what the hell? We gotta start a wall uh, somewhere. Sorry about that. Yes, I didn't yes. know what. Okay, okay. Could could you describe the person who died? Well, he, he was. Uh, he had human eyes. A human nose. Some human ears. Was he human? You could say that he was a human, yes. Uh, okay. All right. And Is then the... the man is croaking a little bit to do. I'm getting there. I'm getting. <laughs> <laughs> I give a reassuring pat to Elwood since he's never he's yeah. never mean to me like that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 
Well, uh, he, he had a beard. Uh, he was a little bit drunk. Mm -hmm. He was wiggling a little bit. I'm assuming that's what drunk means. Um, Dude. And then the lightning just struck him down, and then, you know, this sort of... Yeah, given the only person that I know that's potentially disappeared of uh, the only one I know was Elias, did Elias have any distinctive features? It looked, it sounds a little bit like him, yes. So, no, I'm just wondering whether he had a distinctive feature that I could yeah, no, he, it, get Yeah, no, uh, he had uh, sort of a, a vest on him. Uh, very elaborate, you know, it, it's basically someone made it for him, so he's wearing it all the time. Okay, I, I shall turn to the crown up, yeah, elaborate vest and do the same sort of gesture. Yeah, it looked a bit silly. Mm. It did. But then again, all of you do. I mean, clothes. Well, I'm I'm not human. But you wear clothes. Don't and you don't clothes. have feathers. You look a little bit silly. We we don't have feathers. It's true. Yeah. Uh, so uh, yeah, he was struck down by lightning, and he sort of just you know crumbled a little bit. Oh. Well, all of him crumbled. It's, it's like dust. Like Wait, the whole dust? person crumbled into dust? Yes. I look around for dust, like stone dust, people uh, dust. It's probably long gone now, it's dust, but... Yeah, yeah I mean, exactly. I mean, it, it's... <laughs> this is uh, also... Uh, the Scorch March is made in uh, grass. Mm -hmm. So it's... It's a little bit hard to find dust. It's... Well, it's easy to find dust. <laughs> Too uh, easy. Yeah. How you when exactly did this happen again? Uh, in, in the in the thunderstorm, you know, thunder. the, the thunder. No, uh, I know, I know what thunder is. Uh, I, I told Josh we should go away and stay under roof somewhere, but you know. Uh, was the was the circle here before then, or? Nah, it happened. Everything instantly. I mean, it's it's like uh, I don't know if I should tell you. You look like you are, you know, the wrong kind of meddling people. That's probably accurate. I mean, oh, one of you just crawls into the circle without any knowledge of what it is, and... Uh... Is there a good kind of meddling people? Can I just say that I... am trying to understand and went right, and I went through the lengths of making it so we could communicate properly? Yeah, this sounds weird to me. I'm trying to bridge the gap. And the bird, the uh, the raven flies over and lands on your shoulder and gives you a little pat on your head. <laughs> well, this has never happened before. Yeah, I'm special, you know, even among other ravens. I've been told the same, except exchange ravens for humans. Oh. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm Vemeron. Christopher. How do you spell that? I'm posting it in the chat. Uh, so, uh, which chat? Uh, Zoom chat. That's the one we're using. Mm. Oh, I got it. Hang on. <laughs> And uh, yeah, uh, the wrong kind of meddling people are the ones that just stumbles around and uh, might accidentally trigger new effects on it. Uh, I'm not entirely. Uh, are you responsible? Well, you can't expect much out of him, so. Well, from what I've seen so far, this looks more. The thing looks more targeted rather than a trigger. 
Yeah, that's that's yeah. what I said. What makes you think it was? You think that the dude was the trigger? No, I I I, I think uh, whoever had the other room targeted Elias. Well, uh, this is the result of that targeting. Well, I think the other person was the target, but... Elias was with someone. Well, uh... Someone threw something at him, I'm not entirely sure what, but then, then ran the fuck away. What did they throw? I was some sort of a plank, I think? It was disintegrated with the rest of it. Did you see the person who threw and ran? Uh, maybe what's it for me in it this? Uh, we got some bread. And I got a human who can give me bread. I mean, I mean, this is fresh baked. It's pretty good. All you gotta do is tell us what you saw yesterday. It's really yeah, not gonna I cost mean, you anything. You get some good free bread. Like, it's, it's not a terrible you, deal. And you can see the Shush is shaking his head, and the bird is going, uh, I, I, I hear what you're saying, but uh, bread. <laughs> uh, make a negotiation rule. Negotiation! <laughs> Damn it. I, I'd just like to chime in quickly. He's trying to coerce him. Okay, it's cool. Yeah. In that, I'll say, put it this way, she can talk to the dead, so she can ask Elias, and you don't get any bread. Uh, yeah, coercion is more a little threatening. And, oh, is you know... it? Gosh dang, why did I take that then? <laughs> <laughs> Threaten people. Okay. Is it ready for me to negotiate? Yeah. Okay. You will get, you will get a blue die because of... So wait to roll until okay. I have... Okay, let me know. Uh, yeah. Oh, I managed to get one wrong, but uh, that's fine. Hey, advantage. Yeah. There's no bad ones. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Well, oh. <clears throat> well, let, let me tell you, the one who did the, through the thing, he looked. I don't, I'm not the kind of bird who likes to, you know, Throw rumors around. I get you, man. I get you. Like, don't. We're not. We're not here to ruffle your but, feathers. Uh, <laughs> the person looked mighty pale, though. Pale. Yeah. Like pale get out a little bit better put together than you, though. But, like, you know, yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, kind of like this. But, yeah. Uh. uh. And I mean, we have been looking around and going around since we found, we saw this. So I mean, there are about ten of these all around. Oh, of these spots, and you've been barricading them with walls. Well, uh, we're barricading this one because some one person died. I mean, but it's hard work. I mean. You can see someone has already been messed up our wall once. Yeah, right. that really sucks. To be fair, it's not really a very large wall. Like it's not. I mean, it's not but gonna like, prevent anyone from. Think how big they are. That's like half their size. Like that's that's like if you were to pick up like a pretty like they that's not yeah. bad work. <laughs> like. Oh, yeah. Also, they, they are you know in a circle basically around the entire city yeah what kind of dumb dumb would like wait the <laughs> wait they're around the they're around in a circle the city? yeah oh that that's not good that's suspicious like surrounding it yeah did just did... the old part of town or all uh, of it uh uh I'm thinking it's around the entire bit. I mean, I don't think the castle is because, you know, it's under 
mountain and all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but uh, everything else seems to be encircled in it. Do you Most know if the they part. all struck around the same time? Uh, do I look at, like one of those metrologists? I don't know. You saw this one happen. There's a few of you. You can talk. I just thought maybe you knew. It's okay, man. It's all right. It's so are we in the ghost park? Are we near the edge of the city? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> so... We know Strange. two spots, right? We know this one and then the one by Ald's place. Yep. Mm -hmm. that, you said that was near the Humming Quill, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay, which is E. Okay, would it be near the Humming Quill, but towards the edge of the city from there? Yeah, it's about here. So, I mean, it's not exactly outside of the city, it's, but it's in circle out the outer part of the city. Yeah. I'm guessing, given my job and my fastidious nature and whatever, I might well be carrying a map of the city on me. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to pull it out. Spend a story point for that. Okay. <laughs> I like it. It's worth it to have a map. Yeah, the, the map is a good item. A map of places to check out is an excellent... Yes. So, the, just out of curiosity, story points, they're once per, like... Can, yeah, they, they reset back? each session. Yes. Oh, each session! Well, and damn! Is, is there a way of getting new ones through gameplay, or is it just literally a we get them? I think uh, uh, I need to read up on it, because I uh, they changed it a little bit because I played the Star Wars game. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I, I'm just saying because they're using a momentum and threat. And, yeah, and, and they'll, there you re uh, roll dice each session to see how many you have, so this might actually keep because it's... But there are the also, uh, always the same number of story points in place that goes back and forth. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. right. So basically, they... it's, it's, we give you the points and then you give them back to us. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. When, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay. It might have been a bit of a waste of a story point there, but we'll see. <laughs> We're learning. <laughs> I like it. No, okay. I think it's good. I'm totally fine. Yeah, no, uh, I mean, the, the story points are for... Uh... Okay, could... Oh, Nicholas, um, I'm doing this uh, in-game on my map, but could you just put... Yeah, use the Roll20 paint tool, just put a mark. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to do that, yes. Sweet. Thank you. Uh, uh, what I'm going to say was, to spend the story point, you can use it to upgrade positive dice for better chance. Uh, uh, upgrade uh, an opponent to... Uh, their difficulty, so they will fail instead of succeeding e easier. Uh, activate special abilities or lock and introduce an element into play, which is the map that you yeah. didn't have. Yeah. So I like it. Yeah, that's neat. That's really cool. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, you have a map and oh, they are... already let me do it. Cool. Uh, but I need to get rid of it. Uh, so I'm going to add the uh, ones. Oh, man. Yes. Okay. So we know of three so far. Or uh, are they showing us? They're, yeah. they're showing us the, all the ten okay. that yeah. they know of. This is great. Ha! Ah. Thanks, Look birds. That. Birds are the most helpful people we've interacted with so far. People, people suck, but I bird like people. people no, suck. small child gave me. That's a... true. <laughs> gave you pie. That's true. And we got the. <laughs> that kid was dumb as fuck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she had a great conversation about trees. Yeah, she just wanted to know what trees were. Uh huh. She's uh -huh. never seen a tree lived in the city your whole life. Aw. Yeah. But she said she'd been to Ghost Park, and I'm pretty sure there's trees in Ghost Park. Maybe, like I said, she's... she's... Maybe there's just shrubbery. <laughs> maybe there's no, like, big trees. Or maybe she was never given the word tree. 
Yeah, that's she it. Knows what trees are. She, she was, know the she was smart <laughs> enough to know that you have to murder trees to build wood houses, which was an excellent observation. That's true. But she that's was true. Totally happy using stone, which would involve killing people like uh, Odd. <laughs> Just not, all, not always, though. There could be some unliving stone. There, there, there are. It, it, it's very. You'll have to talk to Odd about about. <laughs> <Oregon>. <laughs> okay, so that makes it what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. Um. Twelve. Thirteen. Wow, okay. They're doing like a spiral thing. Okay. This is only entirely worrying. Yep. I was trying to see if any of them are in particularly worrisome spots. No, I think it's more the fact that they're just all round. Yeah. Mm. That's you know, a lot of them. That's a lot. Jungle, I I'd really like to know what these are doing, and that's probably going to involve deciphering the runes that we've got the uh, rubbing off. Yeah, write them all down on the paper and I'll look them up tonight. Well, I mean, if I was cool with it, take the tile, I'll take the rubbing. Well, they're all. Is it all the same rune? Is it just like the repeated rune, or is it. It, it's different, but it's uh, it seems like uh, it's repeating patterns in it. Okay. Well, I was saying you said earlier when I held the rubbing to the to this one that I could hold it in a way that it almost perfectly matched. Yeah. Uh, if this would have been a more modern game, I would have described it sort of like a DNA sequence. Mm. Mm. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll just kind of like look at it really closely and, and get a good memorization of it and I'll which, research it tonight, I suppose. Which I'm thinking is probably a really good analogy even because it's how the uh, runes interact because we have the primal and you have the necromancy. Mm. And they sort of entwine. Because mm. the way I see it is knowing what these runes are for will let us know just how worried we should be that they're cropping up in all these spots. I'm already worried. I'm just saying, if they... I'm going to get a jump on it, I feel like. <laughs> if they're the arc arcane equivalent of, you know, graffiti tagging the city, it's a different level of worry than if uh, it's the arcane creative runes to kill everybody. I mean, when you graffiti something, you don't died. often, yeah, that. <laughs> I, I that just makes say, it different. different. Levels of worry. Uh, I think I'm already there. I'm a, I, I guess it could go up, but I might break the scale, and you don't really want those are expensive. What are we going to do next once we, John Quill looks at the. I'm perfectly happy to come and help research. I may not be as good as you, but I'm good enough to help. Yeah, I've got a lot of books, so. I can't read them all again in one sitting. Again? Yeah, I've read, all, I've read like all of them. At least in my section. Wow. That's a and lot. Anybody else is I had a lot of time when I was a kid. I thought I was a kid. Okay. I. Huh. I wanted to. I might go around and ask and see if anyone else saw any people flinging bits of wood at other people. <laughs> I'll go like with. He um, said. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go with you. We'll let the nerds go read their books. Okay. I like it. Okay. So.
so people split up a little bit. Yep. So yeah, um, Odd would probably be heading to um, some of the ones in, uh, oh, there is one in Red Shade. Yeah. Uh, I'll go down to Red Shade. And uh, see if I can find Slangia. one of the old gangs. Slangia was following along, taking along. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's starting to get a little bit dark. Yep. Because lately, uh, the last year or so, uh, it's starting to get dark a lot quicker. Cool. That's not worrying at all. <laughs> all right. Stay close. There's some rough characters around here. Should be good. You're with me. She'll beat the sh he'll they'll they'll beat the shit out of them. Yeah. <laughs> I will probably actually stop by the shop and grab the shovel. The Just yeah. in case. <laughs> yeah. I've got the shovel with me. Old habits. An angry rock on a mission. <laughs> <laughs> angry. I'm not angry yet. That hasn't happened. I was worried and a disgruntled rock. <laughs> a disgruntled rock, yes. <laughs> Yeah, I'm... their faces the entire time. <laughs> Listen, people are disintegrating. That worries odd deeply. Uh, so yeah, you, you walk through the streets of Red yep. Shade, uh -huh. which, uh, for people who are not aware, is got, has gotten its name because of all the pollution from the Grey Forges. Tends to take give everything sort of a. It's both sort of a red mist over things and also uh, the iron bits tends to you know give everything a rusty feel and you can it's not that mo the most pleasant place to be uh, but for some reason the oreads like it yep Sweet home. I'm looking around to see if I can see anyone before I do anything drastic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna s let me look at what it to be uh, because I'm thinking it's I am not the best at this system yet. And there are some things. Uh, yeah, perception or I also have vigilance. Yeah, I'm gonna say you should roll vigilance because okay. that's. Uh, but I'm gonna where? No, did I close that one? Don't get this, <laughs> this thing out. I, I think when I was reading it, vigilance is supposed to be more like when you're not actually actively looking. You're just sort of yeah. Open. Yeah, that's right. I'm trying to find something. Yeah. Uh, and I'm thinking... Uh, yeah. Make... A, now I'm going to use that. Make a perception roll. Okay. Hey! Three successes. Because it's not an ambush. <laughs> Good. But, uh, you, you notice that there are some uh, older teams of Oreads standing around. Yep. Uh, watching you. We don't hey. see. Uh... That many stitches around here. Nope. Keep close. I'm making sure that, that <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
Yeah. She's stationary. Slancha. Yeah. I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> that's... That's... I'm, I'm gonna... Not threatening at all. I, uh... It's part of my divine magics. So apparently I can make a barrier. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm gonna say you, you should wait with that because I'm okay. gonna... Okay. Look, uh, where are, uh... I mean, I heard the words very specifically, not an ambush, so... <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm trying to lean into hoping that's a... <laughs> I'm gonna say, uh... No, I'm gonna make a roll. Oh, cool. 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 Great. You specifically yeah. said not, I just... Mm, cool. Yeah, uh, I just need to set things up first. Uh, That's great. I just want to... Uh, I just want to point out that I have a dagger. <laughs> <laughs> Although I'd like to flavor it more like a pocket knife or something like that. I love it. Yeah. Like, like a, a just switchboard. Just letter opener. <laughs> But I'm definitely staying uh, close to odd. Oh yeah. Uh, they look at first at Slangia and then look at uh, odd. Mm -hmm. And then they. Uh, it's bad business to attack uh, former members. Let's go. And they walk across the street and into an alley. Hey, I try and call after them. Yeah? Wanted to talk to someone. Which one? Anyone who's seen the disappearance that happened three, four days ago in the storm. Oh. Oh. Uh. I got gold. Uh, I need. Damn it! I need. Now I need a, a one of those uh, lists of rock names. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. Fisher. Oh yeah. 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 It's a good one. I did have the one person that I named, but I'm hoping I won't have to meet with them. Uh, let me see. Dustin in chat is just potting out geology words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. I can't see it because I'm afraid if I open it, I might, my internet will crash, but yeah. wonderful. Yeah, uh, I was thinking... Uh, uh, do you know Skarn? Do I know Skarn? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been in, but... Yeah. Let's use the NPC creation. Uh -huh. uh, and you are from which area? I'm from, I think I said, not really actually in Red Shades. Like, I, I think my family is from more further into the higher parts, the more uh, built parts of Old Town, like on the edge between the it and the Grey Forges. Yeah, I'm yeah. quite excited that you were from Old Town as well. Yeah, the yeah. Old District, I mean, yeah. sorry. But I think I ran around in Red Shades for a while. In my yeah. wild youth. Yeah, uh, roll the red shade. Okay. Uh, knowledge. Knowledge? Okay. Um, I don't, there isn't knowledge red shade. I have knowledge scarabshire, would that be it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> That's a threat and two successes. Yeah. Okay. Ah. 
I love this on the fly NPC creation thing. It's so cool. So yeah, uh, you know them. Okay. But... Uh, I'm guessing we're not on good terms. <laughs> uh, you know, on bad terms. It's just that they are, you know. A little bit more uh, defensive. Mm-hmm. Don't want to get involved in anything. Yep. Uh, but yeah. Uh... Yeah, I know Scarn. Yeah, they saw something. Where's Scarn hang out right now? Uh, well, uh, y- you know the church. Hmm. Cross the road from there. Thanks. I will flick a gold in the direction that they went. Yeah. As a thanks. Yeah, and one of them catches it and then they sort of break it into tiny pieces and hand it out and starts to. Uh huh. Love it. <laughs> and head that direction, I think. Yeah. So you approach the church, and it looms a bit high in this area. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's an, in the outskirts of the town, and it's sort of a, also a field of with the graveyard, mm-hmm. and it has some uh, old tombs. I love this atmosphere. <laughs> and just across the road is the outer parts of a red shade. Uh, and the buildings there are more uh, right away it sort of cuts the atmosphere right up because it's sort of built from old uh, pieces of from the a factory mm-hmm. it's, half the buildings are even in, in metal mm-hmm And you see one of the buildings where you remember that they were living. Okay. So I... A two-story building with sort of a crow's nest at the top. All right. I go over and knock on a bit of the metal. Yeah. Like... Oh, jeez, oh, jeez, okay. What? Who is it? It's Odd Shale, the younger. Oh. Been a long time. Yes. And they and they open the door and you can see uh Skarn and they are uh basically also the rocky mm-hmm. f- humanoid face, uh sort of uh, veins of uh uh, copper ore in in it in their faces mm-hmm. uh, and their uh, hair is sort of um, basically like sh- rock shards but sort of they fold a little bit when they move mm-hmm. uh, yeah uh, okay uh, can I help you with anything I don't have much no, I don't. I've been out of the gang business for a long time. I I got out recently. It's been oh, a couple of years, but this is. I point back toward Slancha. Slancha. Hi. We've been looking. Weird things have happened recently. People disappeared. Someone said you might know something about Dis- it. Disappeared? Uh... There's a lightning strike. Oh, oh okay. I, I I don't want anything to do with that. Um, thank you for coming. Please leave. Anna is trying to shut the door. Yeah, uh, I'm sticking my foot in that. Yeah, the, yeah. no. <laughs> yeah. They know something, and I want to know what they know. Uh, now. <sighs> Scarn. 
putting a rock when someone's closing the door is dirty business. You, you, that's not how we play, okay? I don't... You saw something. Yeah. What did you see? I don't know if I want... No. I want nothing to do with it. It's... It's freaking me out, okay? Me too. Things how are can it, How can it freak you out? I mean, you didn't see... We heard it, it happened lots of places all over, all around the city, all around the whole area. I felt a rock crumble. Uh, yeah, that's, that's not good. Uh, no. I want to well, find out what, what, what it did, what, what's doing it, and maybe stop it. Yeah. Uh, that's nice. I don't want anything to do with it. Yeah, but you know something. And if you don't, then it might happen to you next time. Oh, sounds like we're going to roll for coercion. Yeah. Um, do I Be get up. my... Back up, good cops. Let's go. Yeah. Um, I don't know how to be good. <laughs> bad cop, bad cop. Yeah. I have um, my talent from being a f Oriad. Uh, I get a uh, boost to intimidation checks. Yep. I will add that one. Okay. Yes. Cool. I will add. It's added. Awesome. I did want to ask, um, I have something called Clever Retort, and it says I added on to something else, but I don't, I can't tell whether it's a good thing or a bad thing. Like, I don't know whether I'm supposed to add it on to enemies or friends. <laughs> Which one is that one from? Uh, Clever Retort, it's, shoot, I had it up. Um, let me see if I can find it. It's, it's, it adds, it adds threats. So I assume you... I'm not sure. Uh, let me see which... I just found it. Once per encounter, your character may use this talent to add... Uh... The circle with I three just... lines in it. <laughs> the circle with three lines. Which one's that? Threat. The one yeah. that looks like the Klingon symbol, almost. Adds yeah. two Klingon symbols. Right. Yeah. Uh, to another character's social skill check. Yeah. Yeah, so you don't want to use this at this one because okay. that's when somebody does a social check against us. Yes. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. Basically, you come up with the clever, witty comeback. Great. Yeah. Shut them down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so coercion. Yes. Here we go. You are officially talented at being snarky. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's wonderful. Oh, oh. oof. Oof! Ouch! Yeah. Oh no! Right! But this I mean, is... you were threatening them, so I feel like this should be good. <laughs> yeah. Succeeded? Yeah. Uh, right, it, it was after the storm, okay? Okay. Uh, uh, one of the kids, I don't know which one. Uh, was poking around in the burn circle or whatever. Uh, they found some sort of a rock. Uh, turns out uh, they should have just left it alone because these two of these things came uh, from the sort of fog uh, it looked bad they were uh, shambling forward and then I just took them and uh, took the kid yeah and the stone and the <laughs> I didn't see that well, but it's... 
I was I was up at the top of the roof and they stabbed the kid. They stabbed the kid and took him? Yeah. And And it took the stone. It had something to do with you no know, it, it didn't look It looked like it this uh, thunder uh, homed in on it or something. It was in the middle of it, smack in the middle of the circle. It's so the circle was already there. The kid was yeah. investigating, and then they yeah. they came out, stabbed him, and took him. Yeah, where there was more than one. Thing that came out of the fog? Yeah. And they were pale and shambling. I don't know if they were pale, they were shambling. Yeah, I added that one in there because the bird said that. The bird? Yeah. We talked to someone who found one outside of the... Ghost Park. Ghost Park. Oh. This park. I'm in Quill. Okay, that's bad. Uh, and I don't want anything to do with it. I don't want anything to do with any kind of business that involves it at any way. I... Yeah, man, we're not, and... we're not trying to pull you into this. We just need to know what you know. Uh, and I'm gonna spend the threat. Oh no! <laughs> How dare! Uh, yeah. Love it. And there is a sort of a grunting noise behind you. Okay. So he's in front of us, and there's a grunting noise from behind yeah. us. Yeah, and he looks. Oh fuck! A turn. Yeah, and you can see. It's some people that are clearly undead. Uh, this one, though, looks more so than... Uh, Roger? Yeah. These are holding together in just by flesh. And they are standing, and it, it seems like they have problems standing upright. I lift my shovel menacingly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you, and you can see that in their uh, hands they have uh, swords that look like they are. It's. It looks like they are made from rust. Oh, I don't like this. So there's okay. a there's a few of them. Yeah, two of them. And there's one standing like a little bit closer to us and growling. Both of them are standing there growling, a little bit behind you and the. Uh, Scarn, you, you led them back here? Up we, the... did. we didn't even know they existed until you told us about them a second ago. Uh, can't... Gonna... I was gonna say, I'm can I go ahead? Back. You go first. Yeah. You go what first. are we gonna do? Odd's gonna attack. Yeah. He's okay. that... We're going to cut to the other people first? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yep. I love it. Cliffhanger! Yeah. Well, let's face it, ours is just probably going to be a research montage scene. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Send there yeah. with our teacups, just <laughs> have a little... I, I, I just like the, this scene. But I do think the in probably requested that you leave the teacups, is my guess. <laughs> well, I have tea at my house, thank you. <laughs> I just like the idea as part of the montage is uh, Christopher keeps trying to open books to start reading and then <laughs> you just gotta grab it and go don't mind <laughs> <laughs> so yeah uh, at the library um i will kind of give a little wave to like my family and 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 things um and kind of drag you along behind me um quickly up the stairs through some little back routes there's a lot of old stacks of like musty ass looking books um, yeah. And then you get to my section, which is the occult section, 
and I kind of point to a couple of shelves like yeah uh, and let's do this uh, uh, describe saffron um saffron is my best my favorite mother um she is um quite she's quite plump and think like think like mrs potts you know <laughs> so like she's very she's nice and plump and jolly um she is looks middle aged it's kind of hard for druids but she looks middle aged for a druid rosy cheeks um she's sunflowers her hair so she's she's very she looks as she looks as merry as she is yeah, whenever I see someone and get baby interest, I just stand up and go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, Matt, this is my friend. Don't worry about it. Bye. <laughs> yeah, and then you she know, just one of your other mothers. She made a friend. That's good. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is business. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> I'm thinking she's up to two friends now. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Oh my god, they have like a telling. <laughs> the, yeah, the stitch one as well. I mean, I've seen them. I can hear you. That's can nice to hear. Head? That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I have six mothers. I can't look them right after yeah. and tell you. Yeah, I, I love that you used the word, uh, what was it, uh, true mother? Yeah, she's a true mother, yeah. Yeah. I'm definitely stealing that and incorporating it. Oh, no need, by all means. <clears throat> so, yeah, you are researching what? Um, You work on getting, figuring out what the ruins mean. I'm going to work on researching um i want to research storms that are causing magical events and um the the ravens creating a wall was very curious to me i think that was just them being them i don't think it was actually linked but feel free to research i'm just throwing my observations it's part of the research process were they like a perfect circle no it was just kind of like a like a meteor smash thing yeah round but not okay yeah um i also oh, 150 years ago you stay in this section i'll be back i'm gonna go over to i don't know uh, oh my true mother actually is really good about geography um i'm gonna go and ask her um I need records of 150 years ago of this town and what storms might have happened. Big storms, like big storms. Yep. Uh, meanwhile, I'm literally taking you know, the runes that, are, that were at the strike points. I am trying to decipher what they mean and what their intended purpose is. Okay. With the elementals and, and the necromancy that's involved. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, I want you to make a... Uh, uh, forbidden roll? Knowledge forbidden? Okay, that's going to be... Three green. And no you know bonuses what? by given the fact that I've got access to a research to a to a the dried library. You can get a blue one for that. Uh, should I add that or you? I add that one. And I'm gonna use the story point. <gasps> to upgrade the difficulty. Okay. Mean dad. Mean dad. <laughs> <laughs> that does give us an extra story point that I could use to upgrade my role. That's true. It's up to you guys. I'd like to simply given that this is a central. Yeah. Thing yeah, sure. Yeah. Why not? Okay. Uh, boom. Have it back. 
Yeah, so upgrade that one. Uh, do I do that or do you? I do that as well. As well. It's easier that way. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so knowledge forbidden. Yep. Going to go horribly wrong. I just know it. Ooh. Yeah, that went horribly wrong. Oh, no. and that's horribly wrong. That's bad. It's not, it's not horribly wrong. It's just. Oh, me. no, that's wrong. That's. I upgraded one of my dice. Yeah. That hasn't upgraded any of my dice. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Uh... I get to re roll. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, try now. Okay. Yeah, I should have one yellow in there. There yeah. we go. Oh, much, okay, much it's much better. better. Two successes and an advantage. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you... What you find out for this is that... Uh, what well, was you were going to research to decide? I'm trying to find the intended purpose that these rooms... Yeah. Have appeared after. Yeah, uh, the intended purpose is uh, sort of siphoning life force from one part to another. Okay, is it literally where the runes are, or would I be able to infer from that, you know, with the advantage of what uh, the idea is to siphon it from within? the area that's being formed? Yeah, it, 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 the runes are sort of a uh, what can I say? Uh, sort of uh, a side effect, right? Uh, when the lightning strikes, it creates the runes, and uh, then whatever is inside of this, whatever life force that is, gets siphoned away somewhere else, probably in close. Can we say inside of this? You're talking about the area struck, or you? Yeah. About the big circle. No, the smaller one. The smaller one. Yes. Uh, uh, but this larger circle indicates that it is part of a big ritual, which means that it would probably have needed more than one person behind this. Uh, because from what you can read, it's that each one of these lightning strikes require uh, uh, focus and uh, concentration from one person. So judging by that, we're talking about 15 people. Or yes. Are we talking... Because did all of those appear at the same time? That's the question. Uh, they didn't have appear at the same time, but... Uh, by same time, I mean during the same storm. Yes. Right. So I can infer from that that there had to be one person involved per one of those strikes. Yes. Okay. So we're talking about full-blown cult here. Or agents of the Duchess. Yep. Okay, well, well my guess is that's going to take me quite a significant amount of time. <laughs> yeah, it, take, it takes a while, yeah. Yeah, so I'll... Uh, John Quill, you were talking to your true mother? Yes, she's, she's the geography and maps one. Yeah. Um, so I'm checking out um, things about the town... 150 years ago. Um, oh, well. If yeah. there be any correlation with storms. Yeah, it, it was a big storm then, uh, but. Uh, uh, and now that you mention it, it did happen, some of these weird things as well. It was a lot smaller, though. Um, did anybody disappear? I think. Possibly, I mean, it was 150 years ago. I can't remember everyone. Uh, but uh, I seem to recall that there was some, uh, you know, smaller uprising. An uprising? Like a bigger yeah, rebellion? 
Yeah, no, no, not rebellion. I mean, you know how humans are, you know, rash. And, oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, it was uh, trying to find some... After the storm, it was, you know, uh, we must find the culprits who did this. I don't... I didn't listen exactly what had happened because mm -hmm. it didn't really affect us here in the flotsam. But... Uh, Um, I think they found someone. I'm, uh, I don't know if... Are you thinking they are connected? Well, you know, don't tell anybody that I did anything, but I've been kind of swooping around, and anyway, there's a bunch of craters in the ground that are surrounded by these runes, and there's like six people or something that are disappeared. Oh, well, that's not good. Uh, oh, and they were talking ravens. Oh, I, I, I mean, that's just, you know, raven <laughs> shepherds for you. <laughs> I, I'm a bit amazed that you haven't stumbled upon one of those before, but there are a few of them in the town. Yeah, it was, it was weird. He was kind of rude, too. But anyway, who do they think did it, then? Uh, I don't know. I think it was... Uh, uh, some sort of scholar inside the town. Uh, we have been meaning to, you know, go there and, uh, you know... Get his books. Yeah. But... Where is it? Where is it at? Uh, it, it, it's in the old quarter. Uh, sort of uh, quite close to the prison, actually. <laughs> Sounds uh, promising. Yeah, I mean, we have been attempting to go there, but it's been uh, problematic. What do you mean problematic? It has a caretaker. Uh, you know, they are... Uh, they don't really like to, you know, give us their books. Uh, but perhaps you and your friends can have an easier task to do that. And my friends, Mom. Um, <laughs> I'm just business sure. partners. Um, yeah. Yeah, and, and you know... Uh, you might be a bit more convincing than, you know, uh, you know how Olin and Tiss are. Oh, I know. Barging in and... Yeah, they gave me free bread if um I told them to fuck off. <laughs> that, that, that's a good deal. I mean, you can get quite a lot of bread for that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Man in a tower. Mm. But yeah. I'll check it out. That's yeah. weird. Say hi to your friends from us. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking we're gonna off. Yeah, I'm thinking we're gonna stop there. Okay. Cool. I like it. That does that mean that we start with combat next time? Yes. Mm. Da, da, da. Okay. Session two, re-roll character. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we can say that we're officially not murder hobos because we didn't actually have a fight in this game. Yeah. yeah. Mm. <laughs> it's impressive. We just threatened, you know, someone. <laughs> You're a small child with talk of murdering three people. <laughs> <laughs> He's fine. Can learn sometime, you know? <laughs> but yeah, we will have uh, sort of go through people where we can find you. Yep, yeah, let's... Uh... Uh, Let's go around. Um, let's start with, we'll go in the same order, but we'll start with. Yeah. And I'm going to say, uh, yep. I really like this because it's fun. Uh, so uh, you also tell what you liked about the session. Mm -hmm. Sorry, you, did you say you were starting with me? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Put him on the spot. We're going, we're going clockwise again, starting with you this time. Okay. Um, I'm Mole at Mole Thulu on all the places Twitter, Twitch, Patreon, 
blah blah. If if it's got a thing which has a slash at the end, you'll probably find one with more through at the end. Um, I really enjoyed this. I love the magic system. I have to say that the magic system is amazing, and uh, it's hard for me to pick out a highlight. It's just been great. But yeah, that's it. Cool. Next is uh, Mara. Hi, I'm Mara at Yarn Quester on Twitter, and my favorite thing was uh, John Quill and the odd your tea is gross. <laughs> <laughs> I like when little characters in, in, in the conversation, and it, it works because odd eats weird stuff. I don't think they're entirely sure about the concept of normal food. <laughs> Like, like things. limestone tea. What's wrong about it? <laughs> exactly. It's only a little grainy. Yeah, you just you gotta let that the the sediment settle and then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, that was mine. <laughs> awesome. Next, Adelaide. Uh, yeah, I'm Adelaide at O oh, Adelaide. Um, I thoroughly enjoy making up shit about your characters and. Uh, Death is a form of cheese. <laughs> Death is like cheese. That, I, don't know, I don't know cheese. where the analogy is really going or what it really means, but it's something to think it's about at least. Deep. It sounds no deep. It sounds deep. So, you know, my my very old mother, you know, just to bless her heart. Um, yeah, it's, it's been great. I, I, I love the party. The party's my favorite part, easily. Yee. <laughs> awesome. Nicholas? Yeah, I'm Niklas. You can find me at Twitter, and from there you can find all the other places. It's mostly Nivinter everywhere else, but some places I am not, so... Gasp! Uh, yeah. Uh, Wait, some places it isn't you? Unacceptable. He is, he is on some places, and on some places he is not on place those places, you know? <laughs> yeah. Some there are places, places where he is and places where he is not. There are some places where I can use my real name. Which is not, uh, you uh, already used. Yeah. Places, places to place. <laughs> yeah. uh, just... My favorite thing was, even though you are started out very separate, you came together very good. Mm -hmm. It's good. I like that. Um, yeah. Well, thanks to Orb. <laughs> uh, Nicholas made this layout and some of our other layouts on stream so go check him out and also go commission him and check out his Patreon and support him it's so pretty do it do it it's really good um, and our character art he made our character art yeah I know it's so good yeah. It's our, it's our faces. Did you see our faces? Because <laughs> they're on the screen for you to look at. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm last. I did that on purpose. Because hi, I'm Jess. This is my channel. I get to do the last one so I can send us off. Um, but thanks for being here. We're going to be doing this every other Friday. So come hang out. I can't wait. Uh, I'm really glad that uh, Odd is there with with their shovel to do a protect on me. Um, <laughs> I think that's what, uh, my favorite things. I was going to say the, I was going to say the death is cheese. It's one of my favorites. Uh, I'm glad I have odd to do a protect on me. I, the, um, sir, I'm on the orb. <laughs> and, yes. ju and just Nicholas playing children who are dumb dumbs, but also making really wise remarks like, wait, houses are, t are murdered trees? <laughs> no. think about that. It's making up shit as we go along, you know? Yeah. All that good, good stuff. All of that was my favorite. So yeah, make sure you come hang out for with us every other uh, Friday on opposite Saturdays. We're doing Spire, which Nicholas is in, so come hang out for that, which means since we had it this week, no Spire this week. Um, there's going to be nothing on the channel this Saturday and Sunday this week because I'm going to be going away, but come back on Monday. We are launching a Good Society mini series, which I'm so, so excited for to be fancy, fancy people doing, doing high society snooting. Um, very excited to do that. And, uh, gosh, just a whole bunch of other stuff you can check. Um, 
You can check my Twitter for the full schedule and everything like that. Uh, but yeah, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for thanks all y'all for playing games. I can't wait to get back and play some more of this. This is a fun one. Um, I hope everyone has a really good night. Thanks, and we'll we'll see you all later. Bye. Bye. I keep doing this until the end. Yeah.